Oh, no. Okay. Ah, oh, I see we're getting started early, Eve. Hello. Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Michael Schwan. Welcome to the stream. Today is Thursday, April 15th, 2021. Thursday means it is time for Two Dead Dudes. And what do we do on Two Dead Dudes? We play Soulsian games. We just got done with Dark Souls 2 last week, and this week we are kicking off Code Vein. The Vein of Code. Anime Souls. Anime Vampire Souls, even more Vampire Souls than Bloodborne is. 
Blood Souls, Anime Blood Souls, Anime Vampire, Weeb Souls. That's what we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing Code Vein. Um, we're also going to be playing some Stream Raiders. So we're going to set get that started now, and then I'll go do some setups. And then we're going to sit in, in character creation for 30 fucking minutes, because fucking anime games have a really, really in-depth character creator. I just need buffs, right? Yeah. I need, I need assists from buffs. From them buffs, though. All right. I'll bring the flag. That's not where I wanted that. I wanted that one to the left. Gross. What? Stream Raiders? What is that ancient game? You know, you know, it's funny that you say that, Eve. Because, like, I know that you managed to get into access into the, uh, the alpha. And, like, I popped into a couple of other streamers' streams. And they also had like been like, yeah, I got alpha, and they weren't even playing it. <laughs> I'm like, well, all right, I don't know what I'm, uh, is it good? <laughs> like, uh, like th there there was a couple of them that they're like, yeah, Street Raider, uh, Street Pirates Alpha. I don't know if I just missed that part of their streams or or what it was. Hover boo. It's very limited to the alpha to the point that it's wiped every day. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I was just like, all right, well, I don't know what we're doing. So let me do some sit-ups real quick. Uh, let me actually start Code Vein because this might need to go through like first time setup or whatever. So you're missing the opening credits. Got it. No, I was letting it boot. At least a little bit. Because sometimes Steam games have that, like, first time launch thing that they got to do. There we go. All right. We will be using an Xbox controller. Add-on. Add-on. You can now use the God Eater series collaboration events. Make your blood veil transparent. Oh, shit, dog. Added and change it functions in photo mode. Oh, shit, dog. New features have been added to the base. I don't know what that means. Added and change functions photo mode again. Oh, shit. New gestures. We got fucking emotes, dog. The timing at which some add-on content can be accessed has been changed. Oh, shit! All right. Good morning. Hi. Hey, can you hear me? I can. Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. Do I want to? I would. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. We have a golden opportunity here. We have a golden opportunity because this game actually has a very, very in-depth character creator. You're going to use a code for your character? What does that mean? <laughs> we have the chance to like genuinely make an anime character. Every single... Souls game that we play through, our character is normally named and based off of a character in a piece of media. For instance, first game we played, we named her character Saris Victoria. We made a blonde woman. She ended up with a really big sword because the canon in freaking Bloodborne's way too late. Uh, anyway, that aside, Dark Souls 1 named her character Guts, got another really big sword. Um, what were the other ones? Last last game in Dark Souls 2, we named ourselves Alexander Anderson. Um, and, you know, went with with dual blades. We couldn't wield bayonets, but, you, you know, we, we, we got as close as we could. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alexander Anderson wouldn't fit, so we, we named ourselves Judas Priest. 
So, what character do we make? I started looking up, like, big vampires in anime, and I'm tempted to name ourselves Dio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real tempted to make fucking Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't know, though, how... Like, hang on. So here's one of the other things that... that because this game has this ability. Um, Dio in Code Vein. How to create Dio Brando from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You thought I was the hero, but it was really me, Dio! Exactly. Exactly. Let's see how close they get. Let's see how close they get. Um, hang on. Let me go back over to this one. And let me just turn on the desktop screen. There. Alright, how close do you get to Dio? And did you go with young Dio or old Dio? I don't care about your intro guy. Ugh, that's... What's your end result? Because this is... No. No, I hate it. I hate it. Not good. Code Vein character creation, Dio Brando. All right, what do you got? You got something better? Ah, oh, shit. I just got hit with copyright. Okay, that's just them going. Okay, that's a lot better. That is a lot better than what that other one had. You can make Subaru? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just going to make a dude in a track suit. <laughs> uh, this is a much better Dio than that last one, though. This is much better. Uh, what else? What do we have? What, what else? I don't, wanna, I don't want Giorno. No, 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 no. Something, something anime souls? Exactly. Exactly, Planeswalka. We just got to... God damn it. Oh, damn. Hmm. Hmm. See, this is what I was hoping for, but this is a mod that turns a different character into him. God damn. <laughs> How do I get that one? <laughs> um, I'm open to other suggestions too, though. Who else could we do? Uh, we could also, like, straight up do... Um, sh she would probably be a lot easier. We could probably make Velvet. Like, we could probably make Velvet pretty easily. One of your early abilities you get is... It, it's literally like this freaking hand. Like, we could probably, like, Velvet Crow in Code Vein. Okay, no, that's literally her from the game. Okay, that's Code Vein. That's very close, though. That's pretty similar. That is, that is not, that is not, no. Yeah, this is pretty solid right here. If we wanted to make Velvet. That was more Elza. Oh, this one? Yeah, yeah. We got lightning. Is this literally just a YouTube channel dedicated to making characters in Code Vein? Because <laughs> they all have the same thumbnail. Oh, damn, we can make 2B. Damn, that, that really looks like 2B. Jeez. We can make 2B. Should make an anime character, though. We can play the games that these people are from. Best anime characters made in code vein. This is important, okay? Byleth? Wow, that's actually really good. That's really good. Some of these, you know, obviously, depending on hairstyles, it'll be... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Kakashi! That's also really good. Nina? Nina who? Planeswalker. Makoto? Eh, I'm gonna end up playing Persona 5 one day. Edelgard! Mm. Queen! Nina Tucker? That's what I thought you were suggesting, but I wanted to believe it wasn't, so I was like, maybe he means someone else. <laughs> ah. 
Waluigio. What? Oh, that's also a really good Edelgard. I don't know who this is. It says I made zero. I don't know. Well, you scary as fuck. Um, can can we make Rem? Can you make Rem? We could just play Rem. I'm trying to specifically... I wonder if anyone made CC. Oh, from Code Geass? CC. Yes. It's okay. This one's better. We could make Rem. I was surprised I didn't go with any Final Fantasy characters. I was trying to pick characters that I can't already play as Athena. Um, Cause like, I was like, oh, we could do like Velvet Crow from Tales of Berseria or something like that. I'm like, I could just go play as Velvet though. Like, we could do, we could do Rem. I don't know if there's a, uh, a fricking, but you can play Rem. You know, the trailer you're in. No, I, you know, it, I don't, I didn't get the impression that you actually got to play as the characters that aren't Subaru. Eyes? Oh, yeah. I, I bet Eyes. Eyes of Wallenstein. I bet there is a rapier in this game, too. No, <laughs> Eyes Ungul. No, I don't think we can make a big skeleton, dude. <laughs> uh, we, could make, we could make Eyes. Um, we could also look at Rimuru Tempest. That one's probably a bit too easy. Oh, that, I don't like that though. That's a bit better. Oh, dude, they made, they made the demons look way better, way better than they could. Like the demons look way better than they could make, uh, freaking Megumin. I don't know if there's much magic in this game. Megumin. That it, I mean, close, but that ain't it. That's much better. Like, this is, like, yeah. Take this hat and put it on this character and you're much better. Um, Shal's here? Yeah. That one sounds hard, too, just because she's so small. <laughs> what the fuck's on her face? The problem is that there's no lolly setting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um uh what about Albedo? It's like her her design isn't too difficult. Essentially like uses the horns that we saw in Edelgard. Like no matter what you create, it's gonna have a chest. You right. You right. I thought about Alucard, um, but we've already, we've already done two Helsing characters and two dead dudes. In Bloodborne, we did Saris Victoria, and in the in Dark Souls 2, we did Alexander Anderson. But it's vampires! I know! That's why I was going to go with Dio Brando, because Dio is a vampire. But unfortunately, like, un like, there's a lot that's really good. But none of them quite have the right hair is the problem. Like none of like this is this is decent. This is decent, but you would need to like combine like three of these hairstyles to be able to actually properly create this. And that's the problem that I'm running into is that like I don't think you can create Dio's hair properly. Like, I'm amazed that you they were able to make, like, his headband and stuff. Like, power to these people. This one's pretty good. The other problem is, is that, like, all of the Code Van characters are, like, really pretty. Like, mmm, look at me. Uh, whereas, like, I mean, Dio is is not an ugly character, but he's definitely, like, he's, like Dio Brando's got such a freaking face. Like, you ain't making this face <laughs> in Code Vein. <laughs> Nezuko, oh god. Nezuko, Nezuko, Nezuko. I don't think they have wavy enough hair. Not bad. Not bad, but I don't think that they actually have a wavy hairstyle option. This is pretty, pretty good though. 
I'm like, if you could just make the hair wavy, this would be good. Like, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> In all scale, I, I don't know if they will have that. <laughs> Oh, he, this is a mod to add his mask in. <laughs> oh, shit. See, this is the problem that with this game was like, oh, man, we can only make one. We can only make one. Um, The eyes, the eyes what suggested was pretty good. You're going to suffer in Neo 2 then. Just feel like I should let you know if one hasn't already, the DLC is bad. I mean, god awful. Uh, that's what I've heard. We'll find out. <sighs> Hi, just falsely. Welcome. We're trying to decide what anime character to make in um, in Code Vein. We can only make one, so we've been going back and forth on 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 <gasps> woo, on who we should make. This is a pretty good bell. Yeah, this bell crano looks really good. That one's pretty good, too. The problem with Megumin is that, like, you can get... Pretty, like, this is actually really good. Like, this person did a really good job on making Megumin. Like, this is really impressive. Problem is, is, like, one, she's a bit too tall and stuff. And two, I don't know how much magic is actually in this game. Like, we, we won't really be able to fulfill the role very well of Megumin. Like we could make dark, we could make and play as darkness better than we could as freaking Megumin. Megumin from Shokugeki. I don't know what that is. There's magic, sort of. That that's a really good darkness. Uh, Megumin Shokugeki in Code Vein. Who is this character anyway? So it's this one. Okay. Doesn't look like anyone's made this person in Code Vein. <laughs> Aqua? Somebody make Aqua? Wow, I'm impressed. That's actually a really good Aqua. If we want to be useless, we could just make Aqua. <laughs> um... You saw Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. I think that's what this is supposed to be. And this one. That one's a better one. Kaneki? Yeah, that one's... This game is built to make Kaneki. I don't, I don't really care about Tokyo Ghoul, though, is the problem. Um, what else do we got? We already looked up, um, Inosuke and Nezuko. What does Zenitsu look like? Terrible. Wow, that's a cursed image. All right, anyway. Axel? I'm not a, I'm not a very big, uh, Kingdom Hearts fan. God, some cool ass cosmetics in this game, though. Aren't Riku and Axel kind of like the same person in some weird, like, split personality way? No, I don't know. I've only literally played Kingdom Hearts 1, and that's it. I couldn't tell you. Um. Hmm. There are guns. Hmm. 
we could go with one of the like evil vampires from Helsing if we want to keep on rolling the Helsing train. And Mia from Fate? Who? Is this who you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't like Fate. There's Rin. That's a pretty good Gilgamesh. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Who else could we go with? Why is everything you don't like targeted what I like? Because we have very di differing tastes in things. I guess what I should say actually is that uh, we have we have different to different levels of what we will tolerate. I've not watched Fairy Tale. Um, Astolfo. Oh God, we gotta make we gotta we gotta be the we gotta be the pretty boy. That one's pretty good. It's not very, like, accurate, but, like, this one, they use the female model, and I think, really, you should try to make the male model pretty. Not too bad. Um... Yeah, I've not actually watched Fairy Tale Eve. It's one of the it's one of the animes that I didn't get in onto the anime early, and then because I didn't get in on it early, it ended up just being really long. And I was like, ah, oh, it's too long. I don't care. Like, if, if an anime is too long and I didn't start watching it originally, it's really hard to get me to start watching it. Deku, maybe. That's really good. For, like, an adult Deku. These are all really good. Like, this is surprisingly good. I don't know how possible a fist build is. Since he doesn't use weapons. To oh, Himiko? Oh, God. I bet it's actually pretty good. She fits the aesthetic really well. I mean, that basically just literally is her mask. The whole drink and blood thing. Exactly. Just don't use weapons. Hold up. That's not bad either. I'm amazed at what people have managed with this. That's... She's too cute. Like, you gotta, you gotta keep the crazy if you're going with Himiko. Should make Onizuka. Wait, Van Giruet? Who? I don't know who they are. Apparently, either I didn't spell it right, or it doesn't know what it is either. Who? Who is this? Travis touchdown. <laughs> Misty from Pokemon. Oh, here here's Misty. I was like, these are bad. Travis touchdown. This isn't bad. This is pretty solid. I don't want to make it, but it's pretty solid. <laughs> um, if any of the Mighty Nine have been done yet, like Fjord, I don't, I don't know who that is. Mighty Nine. Mighty Nine. 
doesn't. If they are, they're. I don't. I'm not able to see it. <sighs> um. Okay. I want to look at Rem again. No. I do like the Himiko Toga suggestion a lot. Like, they made him really well, but you remember that conversation we just had about Fairy Tale? Apply it to Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> like,. Like, I had a couple friends binge it, and it still took them, like, a month. And they were like, it's so good. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it could be the best anime on the planet, and I don't care. Like, if I'm not already watching it, um, and it gets over 100 episodes, it doesn't exist to me anymore. Yo? From Shaman King? This one would be really difficult to make anyway. He's short. He's small. We don't we don't have a Shota setting, just we don't like we don't have a lolly setting. I think I, I think we're gonna go with Himiko. If we can find someone's code for it. Question then becomes which one? That one on the left is the one that I would want. That one on the left is sick since still has like the uniform on. Because like this one, they're just in like a t shirt. This one, it actually looks like they're like dressed. The one with the fang scarf is a strong contender. This one? This one's really good, too. No, far left. This one? Yeah, that one's pretty solid, too. I'd want to change the clothes, like the actual, like, chest clothing. None of these have their codes, though. Is there actually, like, a code that you can share with people? I think it was Neo 2 only. Bummer. That, that just made this a lot, a lot more work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's fine though. Um, all right, let's get in. Let's actually run the battle. Get in there and try and make a character then. But we'll run with Himiko Toga. Just because the mask really works well for Himiko. The mask works really well for Himiko. Okay. It's Fitzy, Eve, Athena, and Hoverboo. Hoverboo with six placements. Dang, good work. Darn your Buster Mark. Why? No flying Buster Marks? Oh, that's fair. I'm not I'm not used to them existing. <laughs> they didn't even exist last time we did a uh, campaign. Hmm. Alright, let's get started. Let's haste everyone out there. Let's go!
There is no music. It's really weird without music. There it goes. It seems loud. There we go. How did I get no assists from buffing? I suck. We got one paladin. It's available to you for 420 channel points. If you so need them. It's only one though. So we'll go random. Because flag carrier is bullshit. Is bullshit or is shit? Which one did you mean? Now right, we're going random in five, four, three, two, one. Boop. Going to Athena. Rigged. Back to the map. Going to go along here. Fine. It's cat shit. Not even suitable for manure. Uh oh. <laughs> um, okay. Let's try buffs with this guy. Um, we're going to go over here. Yeah, like that. Bow. Bow, bow, bow. Wait, no, not those ones. Boop, boop. Ba, 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 ba. All right, place units, everybody. All right, let's uh, let's let's do our best at this. All right, let me move this over here, and let's open this back up. Remember, appearance first, female. Okay. Oh boy. See if we can't find a decent, like, preset to start with. Wish these pictures won't weren't zoomed in quite so far. Whoa. Just fine. The first two hours will be just character creation, where forty of those minutes are discussing which character. It's fine. I, I honestly already knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> None of you have hair buns. Yeah, none of you have hair buns. All right. Physique height. Himiko is short. Uh, zoom out a bit. There we go. Himiko is short. Himiko is not big busted. Is she? Alright. Time to look up anime boobs. You heard it here first. Himiko Toga. I actually don't know because she's normally wearing like that big hoodie. I know that she's had her clothes off a few times. No, not fan art. That is not definitely not what I want because they'll all draw her with freaking missile tits. She is not small, but also not like massive either. We'll just we'll go with C. Overall balance? What does this mean? Oh, okay. She's pretty petite. Okay. Head size. There we go. Skin, pale as hell.
What it, w there's a word for what people reference Hemiko Toga. Nice. Thank you. I was like, I know that there's something that is that is used by artists for what I'm trying to do. It's called it's called a reference. Hair. Not like that blonde. Probably want a shot of her from the licensing exam. I think I have like reference photos here now, like that look very like official reference photos, including like headshots and stuff and, and different um, the different outfits, including like her villain equipment. We need like a, a golden brown because like this is too bright. Make sure there's nothing else down here. Pastel might work. Something like that. Might still be too bright. It's a little bit darker than that. Like I wanted this brightness, but a little bit, just a little bit more blonde. Maybe like over here. That one. Okay. Extensions color. She doesn't really have coloring on the ends of her hair. It's kind of just blonde all the way through. So what color is this? Okay. We need pastel one. There. Extensions proportion doesn't matter because it's going to be like this shouldn't change like hardly anything since the same color. Hair shine. Really? Good lord. Okay. Okay. Face. She has actually a pretty... Oh, wait. This is not the shape of the face. This is the shape of, like... The positioning of the facial features. This isn't the shape of her head. We might not be able to change that. Hmm. <sighs> Wonder how much we can customize these. I need to change her. Why are these inverted? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, anyway. She has very distinct pupils. Let's see if they have anything. Need to change the color. It needs to be yellow. Are these the same color palettes? They are. Her eyes are almost the same color as her hair. Just a little bit darker. Okay. And then the accent color in them is like a dark brown. 11 gigabytes taking 50 minutes to download. Gross. Where's like a brown? It's like a dark brown that's in there. Or like a really dark, dark yellow. We're going to go with this. Oh, interesting. That's unsettling. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, actually. So is that. I don't think we need the cat's eyes. 
She does kind of have cat's eyes depending on the... Maybe like those. <laughs> the fuck? Jesus Christ, Bandai. You're just like, fuck it. Make them weird. Whatever you want. Throw us some eyeballs in there. Like, she actually does have slight cat's eyes. These are just, like, almost too much. Let me let me look at that reference picture. What eyes did they go with? Okay, they went with these ones. Yeah. We'll go with these ones, too. I wasn't joking when I said fly eyes. I thought you meant, like, fly, like... Yeah, anyway... She could have starry eyes. I think we'll just do this. I'm streaming right now. Yeah. No, you're fine. I don't think we actually need this. Oh wait. No, I don't want to I don't want to change the pupil. There we go. I don't think her eyes are actually very big. They're not super small either. They literally have a cat eyes button. Okay. Eyebrows. She almost doesn't have eyebrows. She has very sharp angled eyebrows that are shaped like this. That actually have like a line that curves into another. Do you see how many? Holy God. It's insane. Keep those for now. Gonna want the ones on the right. Her eyebrows are really short. Let those go. If these were flipped the other way, they would work. I'm just gonna take these ones. Her eyebrows are actually black. She basically just has thin lines for eyebrows. Is there anything thinner? Like just a thin line? Wait, that was pretty thin. That. Fucking bushy! Okay. Separate hair and eyebrow color? Okay. Makeup. We need some fucking dark ass... Mascara and shit. Not super dark, but we do need some. The only one rivaling all this is Neo 2. Fuck me. Okay, so this is actually is like not the part around the eyes. I mean, it is around the eyes, but not in the way that I thought. 
Okay, we actually just need... It's more about the eyeshadow than it is the eyebrows. Even though they, they're calling this makeup, this is definitely more like eyebrows. We basically just need, like, edges. We don't need a whole lot. I don't think we have anything that's far enough on the edge in the way we need them to be. What did you use? You used, I think the ones that I'm sitting on. Or like these ones. I think you used these ones. Yeah. They need to be darker though. Where's black? Where's my black at? Black. What is this? Secondary color? Where where is the secondary color at? I don't even see it in there. I was going to comment, but nope. Okay. I can't tell what half of these things are doing. Oh, oh, this this is her lips. She doesn't really have much lip color. Where's my black? God damn it! Yeah, all right. I see. I see what you're saying. I, I don't see that this is doing anything. Scars and other. Himiko doesn't have any scars on her face. Face paint. We have three options here. We need. We need the we need the facial blushes a bit. Do we have better facial blushes? That. That's what we need. If we can get actually just like a little bit darker around the eyes, that'd be pretty cool too. Advanced editing? Oh God, why? That's lips. What is this advanced editing? Editing mode. Oh. Yeah, I can see why too. Accessories. Wait. Okay, I was like, where's the hair styles? Where's the where's the hair buns at? Or do I have to create the hair buns? I don't see hair buns. Did somebody make the hair buns? Okay, I see the hair that you you used. Hello, Android 18. How are you? Or oh, the big lady from Naruto? Yeah, yeah. Where's this, the hair this person used? Okay. 
Get some food. How did you make this hair? I legit don't see this. Like, you must have made this hair. I think you started with this. And then you added things onto it. Is there extra hair options in the accessories? Holy shit, this game. Here's our hair buns. And you used... this and then we color match it color match it color match it Is the mask something we can put on now? Purifier mask. I see it down there. Okay, hang on. Let's put this on because I think this will also help. Not the full one. Which one did they use? They used this one. I feel like this one's a bit better. Can I leave this visible? Not right now, apparently. Okay, is the scarf an accessory? She doesn't have glasses. Scarf. Might need to go to her clothing, actually. Here's the tie. She doesn't actually have a tie. That one just looked really good. How did you get this clothing? There's not that many options. Welcome back. We found the masks. They went with this one. I think this one looks better. Putting the mask on helps a lot. Is there ways to customize this? How'd you get the jacket that they are wearing? Covering 80% of a person's face does help a lot. Yeah, you're right. Which 
color is this? It's the top one. Shoulder bag. I don't think we'll get anything close to her actual equipment set. She doesn't wear gloves of any kind. That would prevent her from being able to touch you. She doesn't wear jewelry. I have no idea where she's from. Himiko Toga is from My Hero Academia. question that I have right now is how they did her jacket. One of the shows I never got the hype for it was very bottom mediocre, both manga and the first two seasons. I love it. It's really good to me. Clothing top right settings. Top right settings. Thank you. Turn. I want to be able to edit it, though. It's the other problem. So there's that. I don't know where the where they got the jacket from is the problem. Found most everything else. Just not the jacket that they're wearing. Might be equipment you get in game. It could be. It doesn't look like it though. Got most everything else. Give me a second here. How are we doing on time? Another minute? Okay. What do you end up with at the end? Like their hair color better. Jesus, this person knows how to use this thing really well. Is this still the right? Like this person, like to the point that like they wanted like l a little bit of blood running down her lip, so they grabbed this 
and then started like repositioning it in the way that they wanted to get it closer. That shit's ridiculous. You just use blonde one. Okay. Yeah, what did you use for this? Yours doesn't look the same as mine. You, like, combined these together? Ah, I see. So now you're going to move it on top of the... That makes sense. That makes sense. The battle. Okay. Athena, Hoverboo, and Eve. Let's go. Kind of insane the work they need to do. It's insane the, the things that they're able to do, though. I'm going to make a couple other adjustments to ours, and then we're going to be done. We've already spent too much time in this. Not really. I knew it would take a hot amount of time, but... What is this? It's a mage. It's amazing. Good work, everybody. One buster, one bomber, either of which they just put the OG character creator from the devs into the... I mean, maybe, right? They're like, all right, well, this is what we use to make all of our characters with. Just give it to them. Figure out how to make it functional for them. If they want to make the exact same characters we already put in the game, I don't. I don't give a shit. They'll. They'll. They probably won't. If they do, whatever. It's their experience. Most kills going to Eve. Most assists to Hoverboo. Going random in five, four, three, two. Athena had that epic uh, artillery. Damn. Two, one. Boop. Eve with the bombers. Athena with the busters. Back to the map. Starts a battle. Aha. We have, we're back again. I need buff assists. Dang it. I need buff assists. Um, what else buffs? Here, I'll, 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 I'll buff the tanks. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. It's not gonna work. Can I get rid of my name? Thanks. <laughs> buff this. What am I buffing? Uh, it's too late. I, I can't buff that. Boink. No, wait, that was correct. I was just thrown off by the giant artillery. Sounds like a you problem. Getting assists in this game is an everyone's problem, but in this particular circumstance, you you are correct. It it would be a me problem. All right, place units, everybody. Okay, let's uh, let's finish this up, shall we? Where'd they get those blondes at? Blonde one. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take the, the blonde one. It's a much more accurate color. And then we need accessories. This. No. Up. Blonde one. Her blush is too pink as well. Needs to be more flushed. That's better. What? Whoa. Sparkles. Anyway. It looks like a rash. They released the Japanese exclusive DLC for free for this. Have the best chance with Musk, Templar, and Zerg. Templar is a good idea. I should try Templar. Okay. They grabbed one of these.
I think it was... I think it was this one. There we go. Wait, no. I didn't want to, uh... I want to rot... How do I rotate it? That's <laughs> not the kind of rotate that I meant. <laughs> oh, God. I want to spin it. No, I don't want to spin it on, on their head. That's what I want. There it is. Eh, no. I think I like it better as just the buns. Is there just a quick remove option? Shit. Like, it'd be better if they were messier. But this is hard, dude. Hard. This is hard. I think, actually... What we do is we bring it in, shrink it down, and add the mess towards the back a bit more. Almost there. Wish I could make it even smaller, honestly. Is this the right piece that they used? I feel like they might have used something else. Maybe even like this thing. It's a bit better. If we make it the same color, how does it look? That's better. That looks more like a messy bun. Can I copy this now? You're not going to let me do that, are you? I have to redo it on the other side, don't I? You're the worst. Which one is it? Okay. There we go. Okay. We have room for two more accessories. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We will go the t-shirt look. It's going to be the closest to her, to her baggy clothes that she has. She doesn't really wear anything on her. Let me get the reference photo back. The photo of her. Okay. 
down. Yeah, this one will work better altogether. But we don't need these. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need those, I don't think. Not really. Don't need that. We could leave those on. Wish we could put... Yeah, there we go. This is her skirt. It's a darker blue than that. There we go. What is this? It's the accent color. Tier 3. What are we changing right now? I don't see anything that is changing. Shoes are black. Okay. Mask frame. Almost there. Where? Here. It was in here, wasn't it? No. It was in here. Not quite. Here we go, here we go. Up. Oh, that didn't actually cost us any points. Nice. What is the spoken language you have picked? <sighs> I don't know. I'd have to go back to the settings. Also a really, like a, a deep blue. There we go. And a white. And a deep blue. I probably have English picked. We survive on Swahili. <laughs> That's a whole collar. Can I use this? God, this camera. Work with me. Please. This doesn't work. Okay. Um, I don't see anything that fits for for this super well. Where'd that nail go? Uh. <laughs> Fuck. Wrong direction. Let's change it to white. Wish I could just copy this thing.
No. Nerp. There we go. And then change this to white. White ish. See you. Good luck to you. It's English. No. Not bad at all. Hmm. Ow. I'll pray for your safe. Wonderful. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Mm. Take care. You lose. Good to see you. What do we do from here? Uh. Is this what stops us? I'm starting to feel tough. May you meet? Are you certain? Uh. I'll lead the way. We still have a chance. Let's take a break. All right. Roger that. We might see each other around. Uh. Yep. We're Follow me. I think it's time to quit. Can't make you play all the Weibo games, Japanese. We'll try as I'll be praying for your Were we destined to meet? I'm not afraid to die. I could use some rest. It's just you and me now, eh? <sighs> I'm pleased. <laughs> Come on. I will atone for this. I s no way. I know you can do Lend me your strength. Hold on a sec. You can do this. Got it. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's do it. What made it looks like- <laughs> No. This is a ma- <laughs> Got it. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty solid. Looks pretty solid. I'll, is there? I, I, there's not a good one. So here we go. We'll do this, and then I'll grab this picture. Bam. 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 I did save it. I did save it. Okay. Remember name. First name. Himiko. Wait, what? Oh. I see. I don't remember what if let me go did she have a villain name? Toga we'll search I think she always just went by her own name. Yeah, she just went by her own name. Uh, code name. Toga. Here we go. Oh. There are codes. Maybe. Code names are displayed during multiplayer. Shit. Oh, well, then we'll just put Schwan for that one. Alright, that only took an hour and 15 minutes. No. No. We can finally meet. Okay, I remember also immediately needing to change the controls on this game. I actually need to change a few settings real quick. Mm hmm. Weak attack, right bumper, strong attack, right trigger. Guard, I actually want as X. Because that's what it was in Neo. Was X slash square. Depending on the controller you're using. I don't know how important blocking is in this game. 
dash plus combo. X, I guess. And we'll put dodge on circle slash B. Parry should be left trigger. Lock on is R3. Yep, that, that all looks good. Wasn't Neo left bump bumper? Shit, I don't fucking remember anymore. I thought it was square. Use item, triangle slash Y, switch items. I don't care about the gift quick slots. I don't care about entering photo mode. I don't care. Okay. Okay, so what do we have on left? Left trigger is parry. Left bumper is hold drain, which is like the blood move. Yeah, okay. Please, yep, that sounds... Auto dodge obstacles? Brightness settings. Okay. Graphic settings. Do it borderless full screen. Thank you. 60 is fine. Everything else is maxed. Mm. Is film grain off? Motion blur off. Okay. Sound settings. That's fine. No. Net network settings. I don't care. I don't know what what the multiplayer function in this game is. Okay. And now we can play the game. Okay. Hello. We finally meet. Are you clear headed? Sure. You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant. Her name is Cruz. Coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Okay. Check your blood code. Open field menu. Revenants possess special powers known as blood codes. Depending on the specific blood code, a revenant's stats will differ. To view these stats, select the currently equipped blood code in the menu screen. This is the right button, right? Did she give you the time? No, that's a crux. No, Cruz is my wife. The character we were just talking to, their name was Cruz. Uh, blood code. Fighter. Which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever increasing endurance. Ever increasing. Means you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. Okay. What do I try it out on? Revenants are capable of using techniques such as gifts. Which gift can be used depends on the revenant's blood code. Passive gifts grant constant effects simply by being equipped, while active gifts must be used. Open the field menu. Gifts can be equipped from the menu screen. Very well. Give it a try. How? Hold down... L3. And hit the corresponding button. Yes, that okay. will do. Be warned. The effects of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The, lost. the hallow? Oh, the lost, right. Mm -hmm. By striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basic. Hello. backstab in this game? I might not be able to backstab right now anyway. Welcome back, Cruz. Well done. But you're special. The blood code you once held was broken and 
has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. This code excels at providing support and defense buffs with gifts. Are we changing? Ranger. You no longer meet the stat requirements to effectively utilize. Okay. Oh. Okay. Try switching to a bayonet. Bayonet. Okay. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? Sure. Firing your bayonet requires Icor as well. That and gifts means Icor always sees skin. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. Icor? This can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from the foe, use it. <laughs> Lock onto an enemy, left bumper hold to drain, A plus left bumper, combo drain, RB behind an enemy, back attack. I'm in trouble actually getting behind him. Oh, I missed. Wow, the ranger's dodge is insane. Might not be able to back attack with a gun. Interesting, okay. Back attacks are meant to be sneak attacks, heard. Let us try one more blood code. Now, turn your gaze inward. The caster! Oh, we could have made a mage. Maybe? I don't know. That is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. We're a blood mage. Okay. Okay. You can also rest your missile. Oh, bonfires. Got it. Which one am I supposed to learn? Blazing Roar? Once you become fully proficient with the gift, you will unlock the ability to inherit it. That was hard, okay. Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? It's a powerful gift that punishes foes. However, its cost in Icor is high, so be careful that you... It's gonna bug me that they say Icor. I've always heard it pronounced Icor. Its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. You can make them pronounce it different? Do you mean just changing the language? <laughs> Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. We special, dog. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own. Wow, that fits really well into how Himiko's powers work. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Actually, like, probably the best character we could have chosen. 
in terms of literally how the mechanics of the game function. Hello. Welcome back. Do I read manga? Not regularly. Have I read manga before? Uh -huh. Yeah, and I enjoy it. But I have How not heard think? about SSS Suicide Hunter. Is that, is that related to like SSS Gridman or whatever the hell that show is that has like 18 S's at the beginning of it? Do you think the angles in anime are kind of weird? What do you mean? Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. The S is used as classification as S-class hero. Interesting, okay. Jeez, girl, I thought we weren't wearing very much clothes. The battle! Okay. We'll see if we can just leave that there. Stream Raiders. Vandashar, GP, El Canadiano, Hoverboo, Athena Latina, and Eve. Let's do this! Get up there, Hammy! And I, can't, I don't do, do and clamps. Give them clamps. All right, now kill all of those ranged units. You're doing great, rogues. A uh, cyber troll came up and said you're no longer doing great. So, there's that. Shoot them, Eve! Eve, you should shoot this big wad of enemies on the right here. I'm just saying. I think it would be much more effective. There you go. Much more effective use of your artillery shells. Hold! He's like, ugh, get away from me. Alright, what am I shooting next? Eve, look out. Eve. Eve, look out. Oh, no. Oh, you're fine. Fucking boom. Good shot, by the way. Able to aim that artillery in such a way that it takes out a flying car. Pretty impressed. Opens the box. We have 50 gold and two musketeers, either of which can be yours, for 420 channel points. While you decide that, I will be right back. <sighs> oh, 
I'm back. Not letting it become rigged. Not again. Rigged. Rigged in your favor. Vandashaw. Vandashaw. Back to the mall. Time for the boss. The boss. All right, we're doing this. Interesting. You can see like big grids in this. Anyway, I don't know if I ever noticed that before. Do 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 I don't think that they'll actually make it, so Place your units, everybody. Place your units. Lady Siege has arrived. All right, back to anime souls. Oh, speaking of the grids, is them splicing smaller maps together with staples. Speaking of uh, of stream raiders, um, and specifically stream pirates, Eve, you, you you posted in the Discord that you got like limited access to um, the stream pirates alpha and how it's like super limited. They're doing, you know, they're wiping it every single day and stuff like that. Um, have you played around with it much? What were your thoughts? So, like, I, like I know that you'll be critical of it in a way that like some other people wouldn't be. Oh, ooh, coffee good. Oh. Himiko, you don't look so good. It's dry, isn't it? Yeah, she needs some blood. We can go slowly. I mean, I don't have a choice, so I am here with you. Cool. A bit farther. It is very heavily user dependent. You can place a total of three units and every third minute you need to click to collect it and then replace it. What? Ready. That sounds really attention dependent. Everyone, everywhere is thirsty. <laughs> you don't fucking say. Freaking scantily clad big titty anime lady. Thirst. One that weeps tears of blood. Why is everyone so, so thirsty? They said, anyway. This way. Hey, what, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> she bit into her arm and it sounded like it was a frickin' apple. Blood fruit. I'll I'll read out and respond to the so, statements in just a minute. Eve. I want to make sure I actually have maybe a potential grasp of what's happening. Here, this is for you. Oh, coffee's so good. Oh, we needed to take a nap. Is 
lap pillow. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get him. It's time for a bit of fun. Can I help you guys? Okay. On your feet. We're about to go hunt for blood beads. Hurry up and get ready. Is that what those things are called? Blood beads? Grats, you a slave now. Nice. Whoa. There's loot over there. Your friend just fell asleep. Okay. <sighs> it's very heavily user dependent. Yep, yep. Each unit, so that, okay, so let me reread how, you can place a total of three units, and every third minute, you need to click to collect it, collect the unit, and then replace it, and that's the basic mechanic of the units. Each unit has a different attack pattern, so you need to try and place certain units where it hits resources as much as possible. Okay. The devs seem a bit delusional to say, not in a rude way, but he said mid-sized streamers were people with 400 to... <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Four, okay. And he wanted to aim for the big ones and based balance on map sizes on that. So the big ones with 5,000 units placed. So then balancing on that feels a bit weird. Hopefully it's just his aspiration and not something he actually pursues. Um, yeah. Um, Mid-sized streamers are not 40 to 1,000. Mid-sized streamers are 20 to 50. I, I would say that's mid-sized. Like, I, I feel like that's more reasonable to say it's a mid-sized streamer is 20 to 50. And, and I say that, and I say that full well knowing that if you consistently stream to five or more people in general five or more you are in the top like five percentile of twitch streamers so like because literally it's something like 99 percent of twitch streamers are streaming to less than five people and 99 percent are streaming to like less than 10 um, which like we fluctuate, it depends on the day and the game and then and, and stuff like that because like I have set myself up to have as large of a hurdle as possible when it comes to growing an audience because I am not only am I a variety streamer, I am a very, very widely varied streamer between Tarkov on Tuesday, Anime Souls today, and Yakuza Like a Dragon tomorrow gets very, very, very varied. And I know that, and I know that. I could be doing better for myself if I would focus on a single genre or a single game, but that's not what I want to do, so I'm not doing it. Um, and I'm personally proud to see when I hit like 10, 12, 15, 20 viewers because it means that I'm at least doing something relatively correctly, even if I am giving myself as steep of a climb as possible. But that said, um, mid-sized streamers are not 400. If you have, if you consistently have 400 streamers, 400 streamers, 400 viewers, you are in a position. The only way you could become more spread out is if you had did a battle royale or lol. Man, <laughs> give me a minute, dog. <laughs> um, if you are consistently streaming to 400 people, you are actually now in a position where you are able to make streaming your full time job. Like you can do that. There are people with even that streamed with to less than 400 people that streaming is their full-time job. If you do it correctly, you can stream to 100 people. Can if you as long as it's a consistent 100 and that can be your full-time job. But that also means like that means you're one of the people that made it. You're one of the people that is able to do this for a living, which means that you're not you're not mid-stream, you're not mid-size. Um you are you've made it you, you like and and that's one of the like the fallacies with content creation that I feel like people like have all the time is they will see the the top of the mountain that extends into space they will see people like for for twitch examples they'll see people like xqc 
or Summit 1G that are streaming to 50,000, 20,000 people and think like, if I don't hit that number, I clearly am not, I didn't make it. Same with like YouTube. People are like, man, if I don't, like the only people that are making it on YouTube are people like Pewdie- PewDiePie and Markiplier and Jacksepticeye or Tommy Init or Dream who have, you know, 20 million subscribers and every video gets 3 million views. They think they think that that's the only way to make it, and it's very, very incorrect. Um, there are streamers on Twitch that fully support themselves with 100 consistent viewers. There are content creators on YouTube that support themselves. Um, I, I never heard about Dream before the drama either, even, if it makes you feel better. <laughs> um, there are people on YouTube that consistently support themselves with 50,000 subscribers. Um, obviously going up farther than that or a mixture between or some differing, differing factors can change that and change the numbers that you need. But people always only see that tip, tip top and think that, man, I don't know even how to begin getting to that big of a number to hope to support myself in terms of doing this full time. And it's like, you're looking too high. (laughs) You're looking way too high. And I feel like, and, and like, man, they they think mid streamers is four hundred to a thousand. Jesus, no. Also, like you, you know, like the other thing is that I would really like to know is like if that's what they're balancing and basing on. What data are you looking at? Because like. Stream Raiders, it's like, here's the thing is like, I feel like part of that might be like money because obviously if you can get a, a, a big streamer to be doing Stream Raiders, like an already big one. So, so like one of the content creators that I already mentioned, if one of them were to pick up Stream Raiders, they would become affiliate instantly, they'd become partner instantly, and they would sell a shitload of skins. And that would be a lot of money, both for that, that content creator as well as for Captain.TV. But from my perspective, Captain.TV is really heavily supported entirely by people with 30 or less like there will there there is a close community here of people that are like we want to get as many of our people into affiliate and stream raiders as possible you, you will see people grind get affiliate and then drop back down to streaming to nine people because they just wanted to get affiliate so they could have their flag skin they could unlock one or uh, a few head skins they could unlock one or two full skins for their community something that they can gift something that people can support them with something to support each other with um and so you will see people grind get affiliate stop the grind and they go from hitting 30 35 viewers to dropping down to like 10 and that's fine but those People are the people that you are making a lot of money from a bunch of small creators is how that's happening. Sure, you have people like Angels and the Disney villain and Alfred GG and stuff, which like opinions of those people aside, you make a decent amount off of those people, which is fine. But they are not the core of where your money is coming from. And so you can't build the game around... What is honestly the top, because I would call people like Hooks, like Angel, like Alfred, like Glaceon, um, Aone, these people that get shitloads of placements that can actually fill a map. You can't balance around them. There's a dozen of them total, and the game doesn't work very well for them. And balancing around, like, the smaller people makes the game weird as fuck for them, and balancing the game around them ruins the game for literally everybody else. Um... So he was a completely new dev and has never been part of the dev stream. I think it was a more personal aspiration. That's great. Someone someone needs to talk to him. <laughs> then you have people like me who abuse to say certain events for views to hit numbers one needs. Yeah, I mean, and like, there's always going to be a game that you can game, you know? You also have to look at Skinathons. Glaceon hit barely 500 skin points during his boosted while Azuki hit 1500 and Coco 3000. And that's completely based on like the community too. <laughs> Shit. Alfred GG had a unintentional Skinathon 
which like he was like, no, I love you guys, but why? People, he gained like six or seven hundred skin points during just a random stream. And it, he was like, I'm both like really happy but really frustrated because we have a skin a thon in 10 days. And you guys, if you would have waited 10 days, you know how much more we could have unlocked. And I was like, whatever, buying skins, Alfred. <laughs> And, and so it's like it, it's completely dependent on the creator and the situation and like it, it, like it, it, even it could be you picked a bad weekend to have your skin a thon you know but like anywho yeah so, what happened to your masks i don't know can i have yours forgotten about those too have you i'll tell you whatever you want to know but first go back there and put on a purifier mask okay Check your gear. Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? Yeah, I need to talk to you. More importantly, that mask suits you. Yeah, it makes it makes us look Without correct. Those things we revenants will join the ranks of the lost in a flash. So be careful. So, what do you want to know? It's not hard to upskirt us. That the skirt barely covers our rear end, okay? According to the folks up there. It's a place to keep laborers who gather blood beads. More concisely, it's a slave pen. A human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are. Kick him. A revenant. As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep coming back. But you have to drink blood and you'll become one of the lost. It's ironic. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. Does it count as thigh high if it doesn't reach your thighs? I mean, no. I looked. There wasn't a way to get thigh highs. Him Himiko's, like, socks don't go that high anyway. They go a little bit higher than where these boots are, but... Each time we die, we lose some part of our memory, be it big or small. It's usually nothing important. You don't even notice you've forgotten. Well... Your case is a little rare, I guess. The lost are revenants who have succumbed to bloodthirst and turned into real-life monsters. If our heart is destroyed, we turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Still, it takes them a while to come back, which makes them like us revenants. The air in this place is something in it that speeds up the bloodthirst. We call it miasma. The mask helps filter it out. Missile pure. No, I have not even nearby, but it's been drying up lately, just like the blood springs. Be careful where you take off your mask, unless you want to join the lost. Missile is a sort of plant that purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's one of the successes of Project Queen. Even if it withers, it can be brought back with medicine made from the Queen's blood. But there's no hope of that now. I'm I have the if Queen's blood. A missile turned up somewhere. It'd be a big help in exploration. Call me Queen. If we revenants don't drink human blood, we join the lost. But humans are scarce after the Great Collapse and all. But folks like us don't get blood. But there's something we can use in its place. Blood beads. I don't know why such a lucky thing came along, but they started appearing after the Queen frenzied and was taken down. There are some who believe that there are tears, but it doesn't matter much to us where they come from. Not everyone wakes up right away. Some are still asleep. We lose our memories and need human blood to survive. Revenants are imperfect, both as weapons and as creatures, but we were needed to fight against the horrors. The Queen was our hope for solving such problems, but... Well, bringing back the dead is already stepping outside the realm of humanity. In the end, she went into a frenzy, and there was a great war involving all Revenants. That pretty much covers what I can teach you. 
Thank you, Exposition Man. Also, back to pirates. They're going to have major sniping issues when it comes to resources and chests since it's visible for all. Overall, it's rough, extremely so, but we'll see in, say, one year if they fix the majority of the issues. Yeah, I mean, they were hoping to launch, like, the the beta at the end of the year, so. Of course, I guess Stream Raiders is still technically a beta, technically. There's no way we're going to find blood beads. The missile's all dried up, and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. I don't know what launch stream raiders I'm looks like, honestly. Too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Stop already. My body may still be alive, but my soul died long ago. Yeah, okay. No one could stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Don't take my memories. My family. I have nothing left. You need to play more Dark Souls. The view never improves, does it? We came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. Wandering, they say, the folks up there. They might live in safety. But because of their levy... Do you want to be guided to the true ending? Sure. Beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm gonna make thralls out of the whole lot. Yeah, okay, buddy. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Those are just requires you to search and find Cat. certain items before the main We're boss fights and key locations. The next okay. Collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up. Just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's. <laughs> You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. So we're all fucked. Got it. You lot go first. Get to work. I see. Yeah, that really looks Is like Himiko. That's cool. Place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You gross. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. Can I have a weapon? You heard him. Move it! Hey, ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. 
we'll have Whatever. To Let me just animate back. jump to that ladder. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. What's up, Oliver? You gonna die. <laughs> I got a pipe, dog. An iron pipe, you satisfied? I would have liked the shit. He's got a bit more. <laughs> We're gonna find a blood bead bonanza. Also, Gargus. Okay, it's literally just a bonfire. Got it. Take your pipe and like it. Oh my. All right, it's literally a bonfire in every way. You level up at it, you unlock abilities at it, it's got the item box, you can teleport to probably other bonfires. Okay, moving on. Okay. So that is Sprint. Oh. Oh my. Alright. Been on a couple hour quest to recover my body in Valheim. Gross. I don't think we've been through here. Does not open from this side. Open. Man. Soulsian game. Lost. I've never seen one before. Dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. So I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start, so we can just leave them. Will that come in handy? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. You sure we should just leave him? Like, if he's gonna become a monster anyway, shouldn't you kill it? Like, or destroy it? I don't fucking know. There's no one right here, my guy. <laughs> I tried. Still, like, I, maybe I wasn't close enough to actually get the backstab. Oh, yeah, we have these gifts. What are these? Sure, I can wait. Spend your own HP to, res to heal your companion. Okay. Temporarily boost attack power. We need to have big sword or hammer to use this. Alicia combo on a nearby target. Okay. So we need to use this. We wanted to use this ability. What's up, dude? Oh, Jesus. That was cool. Fucking wompy. First time I almost made it, mistake. And by mistake, took like three steps to the planes. That was that. Do you die in the planes? I've not actually played Whoa. Valheim. That's scary. Yeah, that's quite a drop, dude. Using an upgrading regeneration. HQ can be recovered through the use of regeneration. Resting your missile will refill it. Number of regens, the amount of HP recovery be increased using regen extension factor and regen activation factor. Regen can be used. Oh, okay. It's literally, literally just Estus. Got it. Please don't fall. Alright. We went from always getting ganked in Dark Souls 2 to just immediately being the gank there fight. In there? Uh, there's a heavy axe. It's an actual weapon, so we're already doing better for ourselves. Has stat requirements of weight exceeding your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attacks. Okay. Fat rolling. Not meeting stat requirement greatly reduces the weapon's attack power. Can be changed from the menu. Got it. Which way do you think is better? We're going to go both ways anyway, my guy. So let's go the way that has a dude already awake. Retrieving haze. You lose any haze in your possession when you die. Souls, okay. It's the last haze can be reclaimed by returning where you died. But only the haze that you possess at the moment your death can be collected. If you die again, it's gone forever. Got it. Haze is just souls. Yeah. 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 
Well, I wanted to help, but bro here already did all There's the work. There's a lot of boxes. You think they're all empty? I don't think so. We need to not, um, die. <laughs> trying to open them, though. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> I literally didn't have to do anything. <laughs> Uh, and it looks like we also are Dark Souls in it up in the way that this doesn't pause. At all. Okay. So you're doing what yourself disliked when you played Neo, comparing everything to things in Souls. I'm just trying to get a feel for what I'm going to be doing. How things are going to be working. I don't mind if it's the same. I just want to know if it's going to be different in some way. All right. Evil Tom, GP, Hoverboo, Eve, Lady Siege, and Vandishar. Let's do this. You're on the slowest moving raft of all time. Enjoy the, just enjoy the ride. That's all you got to do. Is this you, Eve? Of course it is. Give me all the terminals. Look how look look at that speedy artillery. Good work, everybody. We have ooh, three centurions for me, one monk, and one berserker. Man, that coffee went so fast. Big Satch. I don't need more, but it's already gone. Most kills and assists going to Eve. Good work. Going random in five, four, three, two, one. Boop. Tom with the monks, Vanishar with the berserkers, back to the map. Ah, we've reached the first. Well, we, we're not at the super boss, but we are at the map with the super boss. We're heading towards the skin chest from the depths. Ah, we haven't actually done this map before. Let's get that Templar up in here, and let's 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 go over here on the right side. Oh no, Hoverboo! I failed you, Hoverboo! I'm sorry. We gotta get we gotta get Hoverboo some help. Hoverboo Hoverboo needs some assistance. You think I was paying attention, Eve? <laughs> oh no, friend, I was not. <laughs> that would require me to, like, you know, pay attention. All right, place you, it's everybody. <sighs> All right. Well, good to know big wompy weapons still womp goodly. Oh, did we check all of these boxes over here? Don't know if we did or not. No, we didn't. Walk carefully. What's that doing? I don't know, man. Focus state. Your focus gauge fills as you get hit or dodge enemy attacks. Where is it? Once it's full, your stand will be replenished. You'll enter a focus state. You become harder to stagger and can more easily stagger enemies. You can also gain the ability to knock enemies into the air and perform a drain attack on one. A plus right trigger to launch attack. Enemies are also able to become focused. Where's my focus gauge? Like, I see the one for Oliver. I don't see the one for us, though. I wonder if I can sneak up on this guy. Nope. Yeah. 
Goodbye. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Oh, he shot me. Oh, I suck at this. This is what I wanted. Is there something good in there? Ah, uh, bayonet. Whatever you can to survive. Getting shot was all you needed to master your abilities, right? Oh, we can open this one. Straight up, uh, last Airbender style. Yeah, Queen fine. Iron. Really? <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? These masks are the old type. Hard to breathe in. How are you doing? I'm doing that fine. Girl, she's your friend, right? We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. We're going to. Calm down, guy. We gotta get through Dude Bro here first. Does that thing explode? No? Okay. Definitely looked like it could have exploded. Look out above us. Oh, I see it there. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for that follow-up hit. Do slimes usually explode? I looked like it could have. Dib? Awake MJ018. Okay. The fuck's that? During the exploration, will you prefer purify the miasma in an area you'll be able to map your surrounding? You prefer my miasma by activating a missile. Purifying a rotten missile, defeat the loss that infected with a rotten missile. Okay. Surrounding area mapped. I can't rest at this one, though. I don't need to rest, but just like an observation that I can't. You can re-access the tutorial. Okay. Some equipment. Gifts and drain attacks power differ depending on the blood veil you equip. Blood veils also affect stat scaling and drain ratings. Giving Blazing Roar the blood veil possessing high dark gift efficiency will increase its attack power. Great. It's open. We got a shortcut. Okay. So let's go back this way. Wow, stamina regens really fast. Wait for me. Was there anything else over here? No, okay. Okay, we can go back that direction now. I didn't see any other routes. We'll just take this same route again, just make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't know how much they want you to return to areas in this game. Or if you ever even do. You never do unless you want treasure hunting. Heard. That's kind of what I expected, but... No loot. There is loot there. Nice landing. Is there something good in there? Will that Queen Slayer Greatsword. Holy god, that's a lot of strength, dex, mind, willpower, lighter. It's resistant to status effects, but we lose some defense in most categories. <laughs> damn busting out those super anime weapons early huh god damn all right 
So, is there fall damage? Oh, well, if there is, we didn't fall far enough. It's too cramped. That was a backstab. That was act. Well, no, it wasn't. Okay, never mind. Nope, it just the attack just looked different. It is right bumper that they wanted me to hit for that, right? It was heavy attack, or was it, or was it the uh, the drain move? Oh, left bumper. No wonder I'm not getting anything out of it. They want me to turn on the uh, the claw. Oh. <laughs> oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Oh, he's fucked. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that could have gone better. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Yeah, your your already shitty mask is broken. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be all right. That's all right though, guy. You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. Yeah, okay. Are we completely silent? Well, we can't be completely silent because we did have like some voice lines. Hey, what's up, dude? It's just you and me now. What's up? I missed. Hang on. There we go. God damn. You and his bodyguard? To the left? What? What are you talking about? Uh, Alright, let's try it again. See, that says right bumper up there. I definitely didn't get anything. Wow. Is it wanting me to use the drain move, though? Ow. It should, yes. Alright, you're dead. Well, if I get a chance, I'll try the drain move instead. I mean, I'm sure I will at some point. It's just a matter of, like, when. A dagger. Those are consumables. You must throw those. I'm really surprised by this game and how much they want to awake him, Jay. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies up in here. Oh, hi. What's up, dude? Peace. I wonder if I can get a chance on this guy. Just because I want to see it. I want to know, like, what it looks like, what I need to do. Stuff like that, you know? How far in here do you walk? Damn it. Oh, 
something really chonky. Body recovered. Congratulations. Good work. I need another dude that I can sneak up on. Is there one up here? No, it's just an item. Items that exceed your inventory. Oh, we're already full on an item? Okay. Is there anybody back here that we can sneak up on? Oh, hi. Music got all wild because there was a bunch of enemies. Hello, Kaldris. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Oh, ha uh ha. -huh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe we can get this one. Please be the only person up here. Maybe this one will be easier. Did it work? I mean, he took a lot of damage, but... Do I need to, like, hug him in the butt? Aw. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, I can do a big swing, too. I don't know. Like, I, I walked up behind him and hit the button. Like, it's why I'm confused. Region extension factor. Like, try tapping it. So like if I if I tap this ability, well, I can't even use it without a, a target. It wants me to use right bumper, okay? So that'd be like the light hit. We'll try it on that guy after he walks. I imagine he's gonna walk forward a bit and turn back around. When he turns back, whoa, there's a big dude over there. When he turn, but turns back around. Stop right there. You're walking too far, dude. Okay, that works. I mean, it doesn't work. That dude's asleep. Damn it. Damn it. You turned around too soon. Yeah, there's a big dude over there. Did it give us a, a missile right before the big dude? Can level up? Yeah, it totally did. <laughs> Thanks, game. That's very that's very kind of you. Okay. Oh. Okay, we don't choose stats. We just level up, at least currently. HP. Yeah, okay. Oh, do these cost... Do these cost anything? They do. Shit. Oh, well. Okay. Is there someone we can sneak up on here? Not easily. Let's 
Should we fight the big guy? Yeah, let's fight the big guy. Oh! Hi! Oh god, hi! Oh! I'd appreciate if you cared a little bit, dude. Aw, oh, you hit me out of my combo. Oh! Oh, I'm dead. So you choose between unlocking abilities and leveling up. Sounds good, okay. Again. Come here. You. Let's go again. fight this big dude. Seems like a solid plan. Hey, I killed him on the second try. I even got all my stuff back. Queen Slayer Thorn. Okay, so he was a special one that was hiding the map for the area. Does he respawn? Do we have that? Do we have enemies that have those conditions? He does not respawn. Okay. Reduce the stamina while you're focused. Temporarily creates a barrier around you and your partner that boosts blood resistance. Okay. We've not fought as... So they kind of really want you to bounce between... <sighs> between the different uh, classes. Because now that I, I have mastered these, I can use them even as a ranger, right? That's how this works. Okay, so I should do this and start unlocking the stuff on this and just bounce around a lot. Dash forward and mist form fires a projectile, created from Icarus, increases maximum stamina, temporarily applies the venom effect. Okay. Learn whether or not there are uncle. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Discover a gift's latent potential. Once you become fully proficient with the gift, you will unlock the ability to inherit it. Okay. We don't need restorative offering right now. We don't have a friend. Um, what were the actual gifts in here, though? Are the checked marked ones the ones that I have mastered slash inherited? So I just want these. Well, no. I Proficiency requirement. No. I ha check marks are the ones I have equipped. Proficiency requirement is the thing at the bottom. I see it there. Okay. I see, I see, I see. So let's replace this with this. And replace... It's already equipped. Okay. That's the only one that we needed to equip then. Let's put Adrenaline on. Or actually, can I equip the this? I can equip this, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. I know the longboat is slow, but I'm hoping it's a bit faster than this raft. You can hope. Okay, let's keep going. Are you an enemy? No. Are you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. You want to fight? I'm on my own at the moment too. I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. I just removed the ability to heal you, what do you so. Say? 
Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? Sure, dude. Don't worry. I'm not gonna stab you in the back. My asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. Sure, dude. Thanks a lot. I'm glad to work with you. Stranger. Up. Ooh. That's why I'm the one in charge. Never trust the guy who comes right out and says, Don't worry, I won't stab you in the back. It's definitely not sus at all. We need to find more enemies to try to stab in the back, since apparently we don't know how. We can go down from here. You're right. You're gonna see us, ain't you? Ow! Well, damn, my guy. There's a lot of enemies in here. I think the other way literally just takes us right there. Old world materials. Looks like we've got some trouble. All right, buddy, you do the work. I'll hang back here and collect the 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 haze when you're done. It's like a lot of you guys, all right? He's going to die. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hold up a second, guys. Wait. Woo! Ow. I said hold up a second. Hey, I healed. I'm not using a heal. That's a heal. Oh! Oh, huh! Excuse me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Hello, Mr. Schwan. Hello, Uncle Spike. It's a lot of enemies. It's like a lot of enemies. How do you feel? Just like shit, dude. We just got our ass kicked. asses kicked. How would you feel? What if we go this way instead? I imagine this way is even worse. You don't say. Oh no, this way might actually be... This, this might be good. I'll look this way. Okay, from the get-go, we're using different control schemes. Got it. Okay. I just... I just want to know if I can backstab somebody. You, go away. So I gotta get over to that dude. Go away. Thanks. Alright, let's come over here. No! There we go. We got him that time, guys. Wow, that was some shit. So you're right, we can fall back. That's what we're doing. The plunge attacks work a lot better in this game, in that they just function. Yeah, you keep them busy for a second, all right? Hang on. Well, 
Well done. Just light attack, tap it right near their ass. Yeah, but you got to be like on their ass was the problem. Like, I think the problem I that's had is that's, like, you. not... Uh, like, you well. need to be, like, touching their model damn near. Pick that back up. Don't touch my model. I'll do what I want. I'm on my way. Why are you so slow, bro? And now we reveal that we have the blood of the queen. Or whatever. That's my guess. That's why we're special, is that we have the blood of the queen. Sword is ridiculous. Oh my god. Could that really be? What, a blood bead? What, you never seen one before? I got so many things that I could show you. Um Oh, that's right. This game has a block button. If we've not tried it at all, I forgot. <laughs> ah! Yeah! Protect that protect hover boo! <laughs> ah! Dang, guys. Uncle Spike, El Canadiano, Keldris, Vandishar, Athena Latina, Lady Siege with six placements, Hoverboo with five. Eve, good work, everybody. Uh, what are we doing? 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 I'm going to haste the group, and hopefully I will get some assists. Hopefully. You forgot since you rebound it. You right. Let's go! Let's go on to the battle, Uncle Spike and Vandishar. Like, you see all these scrubs on the left? Well... You're about to not see them anymore. Athena with with the 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 strong squad up in front protection, that heavy centurion. Mm. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, get, kill some things. Get some assists. Good work, you two. All right, now join the pack. I am getting kills and not assists. This is bullshit. Then he's like, oh, I could go smack the, the node or something. I don't know. Hop a doo. Is this in the air? It must be. Aha, two assists. Nice. Did that not give me credit? Oh, okay, it did. It did. Good. We got 10 gold. If anyone needs it, it can be yours for 420 channel points. Otherwise, we will hit random. Easy peasy. You know, I never actually thought about how I would spell easy peasy. Like, I probably would have spelled it P-E-A-S-Y. Easy peasy. Like, just put a P in front of the word easy. Kind of like your way better, though, Uncle Spike. It's more unique. Hmm. Pie, no, because my brain would say that piezy. Like, I'd put it like, like this, easy peasy. Is how I would have spelt it initially. Anywho, going random. Uncle Spy getting the gold. Back to the map. Oh no, you're perfectly fine, Uncle Spike. It 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 like I read it perfect. Like I knew what you were saying. It was a unique, like, I didn't even think of how I would spell the word, the, the phrase easy peasy up, up to that point. Okay, what do we need? Um, I need assists. I need assists. I got two of them with that. All right, let's try the flag bearer again. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Nice. I'll try and get, I, I need one assist. 
one assist for the quest. See if we can't get it. Go on and get you some. All right, place your units, everybody. <sighs> We're off to go murder and drink some people's blood. Do, 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 do. So we killed some things. Did that count for, um, for these? No. I mean, it did, but we need to kill more than what we killed. It says defeat the enemy. Oh, why didn't it change over? There it goes. It wasn't a scene. It just the auto, the game auto detect didn't like change from Stream Raiders to Code Vein. Okay, so we needed to defeat like one more enemy with these to get the credit on them. Just keep unlocking things, I guess. Rip. Could you fill me in on the details later? What details? Far from the surface. Yeah, let's change like you actually like let's change this to this. I don't think we need a combo hit right now. It's open. Queen Slayer Blade. I wouldn't mind a, a not as wompy weapon. Who even am I? Oh my god! <laughs> Make sure you're good and ready. <laughs> At least he can spell stuff in Stream Raiders. <laughs> That's it. Goodbye. Athena's is more art than spelling. Hey, Athena has some great art in Stream Raiders. Oh, we mastered those. Okay. Can I change the... Okay, I don't have to go there to change my stuff around. Cool. Alright, alright, alright. Let's change... What does this even look like? It's just a short little, like, blood dodge. It's just an extra dodge, I guess. Seems there are five items left nearby. I wonder if they're just ahead of us. I don't, f but that's interesting. It doesn't, I wonder if it marks them. The interpretive dance that is spelling last. I think once I get back, I'm going to destroy this raft and never ever sail again. Do it. The raft is trash. <laughs> okay, it doesn't mark them in any way. Any enemies around here. We'll really let you item hunt with that ability if you want. Hi. Goodbye. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Items are marked on your map if you see them. Oh, so they are. Sick. Okay. This lake was formed... Crafting materials is interesting. Sure enough. Okay, that's cool. That'll help me. What's up, dude? G 
You gonna come over here? Oh, oh god, oh. Ew. Did you pick up something we can use? That worked out. Or lost. I'm guessing lost shards are just rainy day souls. That was well hidden. That's the earlier part of the map. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. That's neat. This should this is just a map. This isn't a spot to rest. It's not the big one. Um, I don't it's not actually fully charged yet. Okay. Thank you for the lurk, Keldras. That looks like a boss arena. Um, am I ready to sure? Good. Hmm. job, dude. Oliver, you look like shit. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. That's okay. We didn't know him that well anyway. Okay. That is not the same ability I had a second ago. Well. Somebody's been eating their spinach. Ow! You got anything else you can do, buddy? Don't make this Neo all over again. Oh God, why did you have to say something? How much range does this have? Oh God, wait, no, not again. Okay. Here, I'm just gonna shoot you from back here. No, I'm serious. I'm gonna shoot you from back here. <laughs> from almost full to 30. <laughs> oh. Blood veils have different abilities and appearances. Interesting. Are they based on the web? Oh, wait, no. They're based off of my class. I get it. I get it. I forgot that we changed to Ranger. Away, both of you. All revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. Yeah, the blood veil, the class. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Listen no? Class is different? Okay. I'm Someone has to be sacrificed. 
Without blood beads, we won't make it. Oh, our armor. Okay. Down. Let's get out of here. Uh, I think we're getting ready to pick up that rock that you told us not to touch. Someone has to be sacrificed. Check out the boss fog. I hear a voice. Yeah, you too, huh? I hear a voice. I'll keep watch. Go and see you. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pick up the rock. Wait, what are you? Let go! It'll swallow you up! No, I'm alright. Trust me, I'm the chosen one. It's alright. I'm special. Can do it. Also, that thing just stabbed the fuck out of our hand. Congratulations, you're Oliver now. Hey, this I've played uh, Chrono Trigger. That's what this this is what makes me think of. This could also be like uh, the uh, just this once. Chronicles of Narnia. All revenants must pay a levy of blood rights. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Sorry. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. The few humans that remain are under Silva's control. Wandering reverence like us, forced to hunt for blood beads, will face death. Even if some reverence must be sacrificed for our survival. You see what you sell, right? Well, that's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. Hi, friends. This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. So are you, like, here? This? Come. Is this the past of one of the lost? No. There's no way. Okay, you guys are here. Okay. That still only counts as one. I don't know if bosses count for extra towards unlocking gifts. <sighs> what the hell was that? It's a memory echo. It was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it too. That's fair. We both melted into you. Giggity? I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Hi, Louie. Nice to meet you. You really might want not want to take our hand. We'll take some blood from you.
Berserker Vestige Core. You'd acquired a new blood code. Features high strength and endurance. It's low Icker stock can be offset with heavy armor. Okay. Ugh, sorry, Eve, I got blood code and blood veil mixed up. <laughs> How could I do such a thing? We are born by the blood. Blood, blood, blood. I don't remember the rest of that line. Just don't get blood vials mixed in, as I just quoted Bloodborne. Yeah. Ugly, isn't it? The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the Society of Revenants ruled by Silva. Ah. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth, always searching for blood beads to sustain them. I love watching the texture pop in right now. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The Revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? <laughs> Anything you do remember? That's unusual. Losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. For now, just take it easy. Make yourself at home. <laughs> home base. Ah, yeah. What's this? Read note. Season pass bonus. Alternative Mia White. Talk to the figure in the underground storage to have the season pass uh, accompany you as a partner. Okay. Season pass bonus. Astrea. Astrea? What? You can claim the season pass blood code Astrea from the underground storage. Okay. Adjust appearance. You just can do this freely? Is there any different options in this? No, not currently anyway. Look into the magic mirror and become the person that you want to be. Okay, so not unlocked yet, but yes, you can unlock more. Heard. Good night. Oh. Just chilling. Oh. Why? Okay, there we go. Camera. Thank you. What's in here? Ah, oh, we can lie down on that bed if we want. Cool. What's this? Oh, that blood code. Provides balance and stability in combat and features gifts using useful during exploration. Okay. Anything else down here? Guess not. Mm -hmm. Uninteractable doors. Is there a reason you have made... 
well, I guess I can just walk through the candles, but it's like, you're not allowed to use the tub. The candles protect the tub. You're an unfamiliar face. Has Louis stuck his head into another pot of trouble? You have no well, idea. It's none of my business, really. Not anyway, I'm Coco, a merchant by trade. Stop by if you need anything. Sorry, but I... Oh, okay. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of taking inventory. Try me again later if you still need something. No tubs allowed. You'll see why through that door. That one? Okay, well... We'll go that way in a moment. Talk to Louis to gather more information. Exploration goal. Nothing right now, okay? Got a jukebox. Cool. It's warm here, isn't it? I guess. I mean... Everyone wants to know more about me. But I don't know the answer to any of their questions. If it's warm, you should step away All from the I candles. All I remember is that my name is Eo. And that my place is by your side. Hi, Eo. My name... I have no idea what it means. I mean, sometimes a name is uh, just a name. I'm not sure. It was simply decided. You're an optional Everyone boss, ain't you? Must be done. And for me, that is my mission. To stay at your side. You're a Margaret, aren't you? I was wounded while I was searching for you. I am not a very capable fighter. We'll come to talk to you in a minute, Louie. Can I go behind the bar? Sick. Sorry, Himiko, you're underage. You can't drink. What's up, dude? All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louie settles down. Okay, that's fine, buddy. All revenants don't do... It's quite a vault you got there. Can what are the giant freaking Okay, anyway. Nice to meet you. If Louie brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Cool. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. I feel like we got isekai here. Trip. Oh wait, what? I'm, I should be able to upgrade your weapon. Okay. Code Vein, Lord of Thunder, the map for the Eternal Abyss. That's one of the DLCs. Frozen Empress DLC. Hellfire Knight DLC. Another music box. I found a Space Marine, guys. There you are, the revenant that Louis sees so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the provisional government as part of the investigation into the depths. Just as a warning, try not to stir up any trouble. Space Marine. I do. I won't be able to do my job and, well, you get it, right? Space Marine. Oh. It's very durable, uh... Bag. Space Marine! Da -da 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 exactly. So, what's better? Should we unlock things or. I don't know how fast we unlock things, so I mean, it might be that we'll spend the stuff to unlock and then eventually we'll be like, well, you've unlocked everything, you've mastered everything, so you better start getting some levels. We already have these two. 6,400! Temporarily lengthens the effect of gifts used by you and your partner. Okay. Lightning spike. All right. I personally unlock everything, master, then level, repeat. That's, that's kind of the direction I was leaning as well. We only have one more thing to master as a ranger. Well, 
Why did that not come through? It happened the other day, too. If I click it, it goes through. Hello, Zach. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the eight months. Hello there, General Kenobi. Um, there we go. Anybody said Spike? I'm here. I'm glad you're here, Uncle Spike. Doge to the moon! I I didn't buy any Doge. I honestly kind of fucking hate cryptocurrency as a concept. We can afford both of these. Although I will say I don't uh I don't hate cryptocurrency nearly as much as I hate NFTs. Okay. So we've unlocked a whole bunch of stuff for now. Um we've unlocked everything we can in the three bases. Um we'll finish out the thing in Ranger, go to Fighter, unlock all the stuff in Caster, and then probably bounce to Astrea. And hopefully by then we've gotten enough to unlock some things in Berserkers. I make the same joke when people play Valorant. I tried Valorant. It was like it looked good, but it just wasn't quite the game for me. Enthralling magazine. Okay. Go to Hot Spring. Ah, oh, shit. I'm about to get banned. Okay, we at least have a towel on. <laughs> Is everyone here? Wait. Do we all just always go to the hot spring at the same time? Like, all right, who wants to go take a bath? I do. Look back on past memories. Like Oliver's? Yeah, okay. Re story review. Because why not? God, I... We can't create our own hot spring episode, so you just get to make it whenever you want. At least it's PG-13. Yeah, I mean, that towel is even pretty far up the chest. Like, impressively so, you know? Oh, that's right, because instead of a bomb in Valorant, you, you have, um... You have a... It's called a spike, I remember, yeah. Under her turn to home base, yeah, sure. I don't agree with their invasive anti-cheat, so I never tried Valorant. I mean, yes, but I feel like it was made to sound scarier than it actually is. Like, it's a pretty aggressive one, but most anti-cheats function relatively on the same level in terms of having access to the kernel layer of your operating system and computer and stuff, so. But I do, I do understand the concern, but. They don't to that degree. True. Like, it was more than what most do, but I mean, even shit like Easy Anti-Cheat actually at least touches the kernel layer, because that's how they actually function, so. Alright, before we get a whole bunch of story exposition dropped on us. Zabatil. El Canadiano, Hoverboo, Eve, Keldross, Lady Siege, and Uncle Spike. Lady Siege with six placements. So how you been, Zach? I haven't seen you in a while, I haven't talked to you. You haven't been in the stream, and we only messaged so much back and forth, so... I'm not calling you out for not being in the stream. I know that you're busy with your own stuff. It's just, like, some, one of the opportunities that we ended up actually, like, exchanging words is here, so... How have you been? Have you been well, friend? How can they with that epic focus flying rogue? Swall! It's time for the battle! All right, one assist, please. Just one. That's all I ask for. One. Give me one assist. Boom. Did I get one? No. Go, Uncle Spike. All right, now kill all of them by yourself. Good luck. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll buff. I'll buff all these people. Somebody that I'm buffing. Yeah, I got one. Woo! Quest complete. Quest completed. Getting assists in this game is way too hard now. Go well, Canadiano. And hover boo. Slay them. That thing just shot a laser beam after its eyes lit up. That little fish did. I have concerns. 15 gold and one bomber, either of which can be yours for 420 channel points. Assists are easy. Assists from buffing is horrid. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, while people decide if they want these, I'm going to use restroom real quick. I'll be right back. been slamming coffee and water and my body is like you got it all right going random Kildress and lady siege back to the map time for that treasure trove you you get that bomber get that bomber Some more ranged. Um, it's all we really need is just like a bunch of ranged. But we'll put a couple of tanks with some healers back here as just like insurance. But really, you just want a bunch of ranged. Okay, I was like, I'll kill all of these myself. Don't worry. I got it. All right. Ah, uh, I'm booster bomber captain. Thanks. I appreciate it. Epic slash captain bombers are actually like legit insane. Okay. Um, let's continue on. Louis. The ability to draw strength from experiencing memories. The power to revitalize blood springs. Exposition dump, please. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. Mm. It won't be much, just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about bloodthirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. You're asking Himiko for blood. I don't think that's a good idea. Just saying. She's going to want some back, and it's not going to be as pleasant. Also... I really love that we went with making Himiko Toga and we are able to not only drink blood and steal blood from people, but under certain circumstances, we can become those people. It's like, wow, all right. It's beautifully accurate. I just, I just need your blood so that I can be you. Wait, what? Yeah, I just want to be you. Hold on. No, mm -mm. I'm not asking. <laughs> There wasn't a, a question or a request in there. I said I need it, and I'm taking it. To look into your talents, I've confirmed something surprising. Oh, Himiko Toga in My Hero Academia is super creepy, Vandishar. These types greatly affect Revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type, or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities and the fact that you have no specific type. 
might be due to your being what we call a void type. Am I a Pokemon? You're able to gain another revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to void types. How is that unique to void types when you literally didn't know, like you said my power was unprecedented. How do you know this? Huh? Huh? You? You? Hang on. You? Yeah, you. You literally just said my power was unprecedented and then you said it's known by my type. Your writing is terrible. There's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry. I'll get something out of it. I'm going to give you some of my blood. Oh, yeah? Theory is correct. It should act as a medium. Give my power to you. A proper scientist. Welcome back, Eve. Here it goes. Code owner Louis Prometheus. Well balanced for combat, but fragile. It gives bolstering, dodging, and parrying. We haven't tried to parry shit yet, have we? Wanted your rosé cider now. Did you go visit Murasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Oh yeah? All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of taking inventory. What? <laughs> you lied to me. I'll take care of all your weapon-related needs. So relax and make yourself at home. I'm really sorry. I should be able to upgrade them into... <laughs> Louis! <laughs> Louis, you sad. Oh yeah. Uh where's the items at? Oh, that's for even more. Oh, okay, okay. I see. 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 Yeah. It's rainy days. Okay. What else does this do? Causes the body to regenerate. Classic throwing weapon, useful grabbing a foe's attention. Glows dimly when the solution side is mixed. You may use this temporary marker. Used to cause your body to disperse. Not consumed on use, but all haze is lost. Got it. It's not the homeward bone, it's the other one. Teleports you to a location near the revenant you are cooperating with. All right. Co-op. Temporary adds venom status. This feels really unnecessary when I already have the other thing. Stun vaccine. Concentrated medicine that temporarily creates stun resistance. Oh, these are... Okay, I see, I see. <gasps> medicine that permanently increases the number of times regeneration can be used. Okay. No reason not to just use it then, right? Finger slip band. Rose cider to drink with moderating. Moderator. Oops. Is there a way to just use items like inventory? Here we go. Here we go. Use. Jesus. All right. Fucking stabbed ourselves. Go us. Okay. Let's talk to Louie again. Did you go visit Murasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of the Revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. Okay, I just... No! Fuck! Oh well. Remember that scene we, we can probably talk to him again. That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection, so revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But, well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. 
That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about Bloodbeats. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. This is where you come in. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... What if I say no? Well, you'd be drawn into a better conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. That's right, Himi goes down for conflict. Will you join us? <sighs> Thanks. Taking more of your blood. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. Cool. Can I get your name? You're so cool. Yakumo Shinanome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Cool. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. Exposition done. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. Yeah, I got it. Thanks, Mansplainer. Think that means there must be a source somewhere, a kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right. We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. Okay. I gotta go talk to the shopkeeps, like actually. I've got just about anything you could want. Do you have a jacket? Even the lost are valuable customers if they bring the right coin. Let me know if you need anything. What? They're like... We don't have a wide selection, but the quality is guaranteed. A lot of our stock comes straight from the provisional government. There's not a kind soul among them, but if you jump through their hoops, they'll deliver the goods. She said There's even the... tell of people Hang selling on. fakes made of scrap. Well, it's slim pickings these days, and we've all got to make a living, don't we? Coco said that even the lost are good customers if they bring sufficient coin. But aren't the lost just like like crazy mode they don't actually like communicate like they just try and kill you right how the hell do they make customers at all you've forgotten almost everything haven't you it's been a while since the queen was dethroned but the world's no better now than it was then but if you've got the right attitude even a prison can be a paradise so it's all the same to me it's like Louis earlier was like, your powers are unprecedented. We've never seen anything like it. Can I draw some of your blood to research it? And we're like, yeah, sure. And he's like, by the way, you're a void type. Your powers have been known this whole time. And it's common with your specific type of Pokemon. And I'm like, your lines were written at different times. Sorry, but we don't deal in human blood here. No? Okay. Other that... merchants might not mind, but I don't like the idea. I may be a revenant, but I won't give up being human. Most humans live under the government's protection, providing a bit of blood in exchange for safety. But the amount they can give is nothing compared to the population of revenants. It doesn't get distributed at all. Some people just can't take that and kidnap humans to take their blood by force. The thirst for blood can drive a revenant mad. Luckily, you haven't tasted it yet, have you? I recommend you never do. 
Even the lost are valuable customers if they bring the right coin. See? Let me know if you need anything. The fuck? All right. Trading points. I can give you things. And that'll give... Okay, so I can give you gifts, which gives me trading points. And then once I've given you enough gifts, I, you're, it's a sub shop. Okay, I got it. If you want it, I got it. What do you got? Icker Concentrate, Anti-Venom, Anti-Stun, Icker Coagulant. That's the dating portion of the game? Like, legit? A Vivifier. She got it. Damn! It is consumed upon use, but it allows the user to return to the last missile in the memory without... Oh, okay, okay. This is actually a homeward bone. Got it. Probably called KA-32. This medicine active ingredient is based on the factor extracted from missile that was discovered by the provisional government while developing new revival drugs. Yeah, give stuff she likes, you get more points. Okay. Blood marker. Glows dimly when the solution size is mixed with Revenant's blood. Due to the bound in blood, it's always shown its position to its owner from afar. It's bound can be cut off. Oh, okay, okay. Every NPC has that gifting system. Okay. Got something to sell? Maybe. I don't know. Used to awaken dormant abilities in a blood code. Once produced by researchers. Okay. Come again soon. Thanks. Hey, what's up? What's up? Ah, what can I get from you? A sword, some stuff, a stamp, and a rare material. Okay. We're headed for a nasty place where the miasma never goes away. The miasma accelerates the thirst for blood. Wearing a mask helps. That has its limits. With your ability to disperse the miasma, though, we might be in the clear. Here's hoping. Switch partner. See you around. Oh, good timing. I've got everything set up now. What do you need? That hammer. A blood veil is a revenant's fangs. They're used to stab into a foe and drain the blood out of them. While you attack, dodge, and parry, you can use that blood to unleash powerful effects. There are a few different types of blood veils. You should use the type that best fits your style. I don't know what my style is in this game yet. You have a gesture. Upgrade equipment. Upgrade. What do you want to upgrade? I don't know yet. How much does it cost? Does it cost haze or just materials? Both. Cost one queen iron and 600 haze. No matter what it is. <laughs> Both? Both. Both is good. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? Um, Same thing on these. One queen iron and 600 haze. Okay. Transform Which equipment. Which do you want to transform? Fun fact. A French company specializes in creating soundscapes to hear the song of wine. It's very serious. It's not an April Fool's Day. Really. I don't even know what that means. Okay, so. Oh, okay. So we can upgrade and this adds effects, essentially. And we need those special materials to do it. And a crap load of haze. Or at least a crap load of haze right now. Which blood veil do you want to transform? What does this do? Same thing, just as a defense thing instead? Yeah. Okay. Got it. I've got new weapons available. I hope there's something you can use. Buying something? Maybe. No, because everything you have is all stuff I already have. You have new blood veils, though. 
Why does this one have a little flag on it? Why, why do you have flags? Is it a rarity symbol? Festive fang, festive thorn, festive... Oh, okay, okay. I think this other one is a rarity symbol, though. Because that has none there. That has, like, a gray one. That has, like, a, a yellow one. And this one has a red one. I think they're rarity symbols. Okay. Not sure about rarity, but maybe. It's just a guess. It's literally just a guess. So, you said, uh, like, how much for the car, Coco? Coco? Coco, why are you ignoring me? How much for the car? Okay, fine. Giving vestiges parts found in your explanation to EO will allow you to restore deficient gifts from the blood codes. It also reveals a hidden memory still inside the blood codes. It oh. seems I can restore the blood code of a vestige's creator from elements left in the vestige. If you find any vestiges, please let me know. It could be a chance to grant you additional strength. Got it. What is it? From, okay. We need parts, though. Okay. I can also give you gifts. What can I get from you? A gesture, that rare material, and some stuff. We're totally going to cheat, by the way. And by cheat, I mean at one point we're going to look up who wants what the most and give them that. That plays into part of the true ending. This part, restoring the vestiges. We're not going to do it right now, but we're totally just going to look up who wants what. You move from one missile to another as long as they're activated. It's not enough to have visited an area. The missile must be active. You cannot move to it. Can we give you it gifts too? to explore when we could use all the missile sacrifices. But now even the staunchest explorers are swallowed up by the worsening environment or swarms of the lost. They okay. must have left coordinates leading to the deaths, but most of those were lost along with the explorers. If you find any maps of the depths out there, I'd appreciate it if you showed them to me. We'll take care of the rest. Once okay. we've read the data, the one who discovered it gets priority for journeys there. I can also give you gifts. What can I get from you? Dormant abilities and blood codes, a stamp. Okay. Your life. Thanks. Okay. Um. Certain allies at the base will accompany you as a partner while you explore. They can use use gifts to grant buffs before battles, as well as you heal you with restorative offerings. You can also heal them and remove their status ailments. Each partner has their own unique fighting style. Presence. A local product given to you by EO. It looks strange, but also holds an aura of homesickness. It is said that treasured objects carry a small amount of haze from their owners. Came with a most note that reads, It's supposed to be really popular. I hope you enjoy it. Tell me what you think. I can take Louie, Yakumo, Mia, which we haven't actually met Mia yet. So, or none. All right, we'll take Louie. Has a progress bar on it. That's nice. Okay. Something up. Can I get from you? Weapon takes a lot of points. Stamp, rare material. When I woke up as a revenant in this prison, blood springs already existed. Everyone relied on them. We don't know where they came from or how they work, but without them, 
nearly all revenants would have joined the Lost. That will still be the outcome if things don't change, though. That's why we need to study the blood beads. Do I need to go to the door? How do we head out? This way? Change your appearance in front of me or your hairstyle undergarments and accessories can be changed. You can also change any aspect you were born with. Teleporter? I just tried that. I think, anyway. I didn't see another option, but maybe I missed one. Unless I'm supposed to go back out here. Yes? Okay. Go back out here. I wonder what that feels like being turned into mist and then re assembling, manifesting. Ah, I see. What's up? Oh, you're exploring this area too? What's up, Shang? I'm a merchant of sorts. I wander around selling valuables as I explore. Okay. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? I thought it might be dangerous, but I came all the same. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while, though. I think we were fated to meet. Take this map of the depths. Thanks. I'll be around here for a while. If you want to buy anything, let me know. Okay. If you have any materials from the old world, I can give you valuables in exchange. Interesting. So I can trade you old world materials for gifts for other people. And I can sell you gifts for haze. As you travel around, you might find fragments of a pack. I collect stuff like that. Even in the sort of fear. Remember? Okay. Assessing the depths. Bringing maps of the depths to Davis at home base allows you to explore different parts of the depths. Open, right. The enemies are frightening and the exploration is tough, but haze and upgrade materials can be easier required. So it's like dungeons? It's like bonus dungeons? Greeting. I'd like you to dig up some rare materials from the area in the depths marked on the map I gave you. Yeah, except you need to do them, kinda. Okay. Um... So we've come from that way. I don't know what's that way, but I see a, a, a ladder. Probably goes down. So let's go this way. Checking your equipment? I'll keep watch then. Pick up something we can use? Shit, dude. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, we did finish mastering that. There is one left in this. The... What? I know we unlocked the one that was in here. This way should lead to the old city. Thanks, Louie.
It's a big guy. A map of the depths. Ibs would be very interested. We got two maps to hand him now. Can you hear the sound of Budweiser and all mail? <laughs> Gross. I think that's a sad trombone noise. I think you're right. Are there hidden walls and doors in this game? Don't recall. No big. I, I guess so. That's something. Expectations exceeded. Shatter all expectations. King of Fighters 15. Sorry. That settles it. You are absolutely vital to our operation. There are more blood springs ahead, but the miasma is blocking the way forward. Do you think you could clear it for us again? Yeah, sure, guy. It's going to cost you a vial or two. Thank you. We know where two springs are thanks to past expeditions. So can I get a pay a raise if I'm absolutely vital? The territory up ahead <sighs> is teeming with the lost. Watch yourself. Okay, that's it. I need to look in here real quick. Because it's passive, so we don't have to equip it. Okay. Okay. The battle. Um. No, you need to equip it. Where do I equip it at? Hang on, because I just looked in there. In the passive slot. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know it was over there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I think I tried to tell you twice. Maybe. Doorbell. Athena, did you order food? Anyway, run the battle. <laughs> oh, good golly. Good golly. I'm gonna put this up here and we're gonna we're gonna throw a bunch, my dudes. All right, let's go. D stall seven seven seven. Doctor Swoles, Athena, Eve, Haverbu, Vandishar, Keldress, Lady Siege, El Canadiano, and Uncle El Canadiano, and Uncle Spike. Let's go. What did you order? What? Don't worry about it. All right, I won't worry about it. What? Oh, okay. Vanishar wants to know. It's from a local place that I don't think we've ever gotten food from before. Show us the food! <laughs> well, that buster targets ground and air. Uh, guys? Yeah, throw that way. Good job, thanks. Get out of here, hooks. No rogues, what is this, right? I know, it's amazing. Look out! All right, let's get us, let's get us some gold, y'all. Oh, bombers throw so slow. <laughs> the musketeer's like, yeah, money for me. 
like the longest one of these fights that we've ever had when we're waiting on gold. A little hover boo healer. Old punk healer. Go, Lady Siege! Get you some muns! Old pumpkin mage is like, yeah! Yeah, I'm in the front! I'm gonna go give me some gold! It's mine! El Canadio's long shot archer might actually try and take it. Oh, nope, nope! They got it! Oop! Nice. Oh, El Canadiano did get that one, though. Oh, it's a box! Two packs of 50 gold, either of which can be yours for 420 channel points. Hmm. El Canadiano is on fire! It's okay, I remain the first among the French in this stream. And are you, are you the only Frenchman? in this stream, Uncle Spike. I don't know, actually know where El Canadiano is. <laughs> Eve, let's go random. Well, we're gonna go random if no one does any redemptions. We'll go random in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boop. Athena and Kaldris getting the gold. Athena getting that gold again. Rigged. He's in Canada. Okay, yeah. He's on East Coast Canada, though, if I remember correctly. It's always really late for El Canadiano and me and Athena stream. Or at least especially Athena. Do I have any... I, I didn't collect that quest. Let me go see if it gets replaced with something. Go away! Place two Berserkers. I can, I, I can do that. I can place a Berserker. Berserker. Do, 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 do. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Do, 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 Oh, you're fine, Uncle Spike. Your your healer will be just fine right there. We're going to walk right past you. Resident Evil coming to Dead by Daylight in the next chapter? Is that Was that one of the things that was revealed at the Resident Evil showcase today? I didn't watch it. Okay. I know that Capcom's really expanding what they're doing with, um, with Resident Evil. Communal gifts. Communal gifts are gifts that require the cooperation of a partner. In exchange for the great power they grant, they exact a price on their users when active and consume large amounts of acre. Price and effects of communal gifts vary by partner. Um, Mr. X would be cool or like a... Uh... Like, Mr. X would probably be the best one. I just hope it's not like Nemesis. Nemesis would be kind of boring. Because he's just kind of, you know, big monster. Mm -hmm. It's not been announced yet. We have to wait. May 25th is when it'll be announced. We'll wait and see what happens on May 25th. That's a ways away. That's quite valuable. Let's use it well. I remember people criticizing this game for your allies talking all the time. Cruises. Everyone requests. You take good care of that. Okay. You can turn them talking off. I don't mind it currently. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Oh. Oh! Hey, some old world materials. Nice. Maybe sooner, but that's when they're going to go in depth with the character and additions during a live stream. So. Ow! So we might know who it is sooner, but that's when we can expect, like, heavier details. 
Jerk. Not a lot of room to dodge here. Yeah, you're right. Ow. Okay. What's the timing on this? I need to try it. Got it. It hurt me to do it, but I got it. It just gives you viscerals. Not bad. Hmm. It's so quiet. Dude. Oh, I managed to backstab on him even though he was already active. Cool. I'm impressed. So a sneak attack is enforced to not be active, but it's easier to get when sneak. That makes sense. I see what you're saying. What's up, dude? Oh, clip me with the back of it. Sunset sword. Sure. It's not much different. We were for sure getting a survivor because that was teasing the trailer, but it's not revealed who. My bet is Mr. X for the villain. Nemesis would be r ridiculous. Yeah. Hi. Not a lot of room to dodge. If 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 the villain is freaking Lady Demestru Demestru Demi, God, I can't say her name. I'm so bad at it. I need, I need to hear someone that isn't on the inter- Like, I want to hear how they pronounce it in the game. Instead of just people online trying to guess. But anyway. Um, if, if that's the killer and the survivor is Ethan Winters, that's going to be insane. Um, did I miss anything over here? I don't think so. I think we checked all the side areas. Like, if it's like a tie-in with Resident Evil 8, that'd be wild. Is that the parking garage? Yeah, it is, but I don't know if I want to go up here wow, yet. it's a sheer cliff. Did you pick up something we can use? Something I can use? There was another direction. I'm going to go back and check the other direction. People would lose their mind if it was Lady, if it was the Lady. This was like an arena. Oh wait, we've already been here. Okay. It was just a slightly different path. Okay. Is there nothing up there? I guess not. Okay. I won't take long. You won't take long? What are you doing? You gotta go to the bathroom? I must be letting my Wait. image slip. That's it. Demi Tree Scoo. See, that's how I was trying to pronounce it initially, but when I looked up the pronunciation online, it didn't have it, it wasn't pronounced the same way as Dimitri. Dude, 
dude, you missed. You missed a lot. I will wait for the game or some Romanian dude. Yeah, that good plan. Could you like teleport around like a boss, dude? Nom 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 nom. Okay, this is maxed. Everything's maxed. Here. So let's go over here. What are we missing on this one? We were missing one thing. We're missing Blood Guard. Um. Is your regeneration level all right? Not really. Not to fight that thing. Where's the big woman? Wait, she's angry. We got there. How rude. It has feelings. Is it? You okay? Yo, Louie. You smell that? Yeah. Human blood. An escapee. Now, where did she run off to? Huh? Self-important revenant. <laughs> hey, chumps! What the hell are you doing here? None of your business. Oh, really? Then tell me this. Why would scum like you have the sweet stink of a human on you? The girl belongs to us. Put your paws on our property and your ash. That clear? Can I just kill him? All right, bye. Fresh blood is some powerful stuff. You hanging in there? So, what's the plan now? We know it's just a matter of time until they find that missing human. Not if we find them first. You know the plan. Hell yeah. Let's hope she hasn't been devoured by horrors yet. He's got a big sword. Interesting. So what's back here? He went that way. Is there anything back here? Uh, a door that'll probably say it opens from the other side. I was hoping it would be easy. Yeah. A future shortcut. Okay, that works out well, though. Okay, we still need to finish getting that one. And that one? Those are all unlocked. Those are all mastered. Whoa. That cost a million. One of 11. Acquisition requirement. You've required. Okay, so we don't have the vestiges for these yet. 
nor enough haze for that one. Okay. We don't have enough for all of these. That's okay, we'll start. Don't get too excited now. Balance, that must be what poise is in this game. Okay. Oh, we didn't actually have enough to uh, get one of the, one of the expensive. But that's okay. 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 Perfect timing. While it took us a lot of time to make the character, I'm enjoying this so far. Um, hopefully we'll get a little bit farther next week. Um, but we're not done with the stream just yet. Um, we're only going to do one reaction today, and it's the one that I put off doing on Tuesday. Maybe we'll do two. Maybe we'll do two. Because I want to do... I really want to do this one. Pause. We can close that. We'll save that one. I actually want to do... Okay, we might end up doing three. <laughs> okay. You... Give me that one. There it is. It's like, where's the logo? Um, I'll actually hold off on this one. We'll just do these two. Okay. So if you haven't been here on Tuesdays or Thursdays, one of the things we often do... Thank, thank you for the push-ups, Uncle Spike. Um, I'm actually... I'll do. The, I'll, I'll commit to doing the push-ups after we do the reactions because I, I don't want to be, like, breathing funny and stuff when I'm trying to to do to do these. Um, but I, I will keep them in the queue and I'll do them after we're done. After reactions and before food. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so after our regularly scheduled content on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, oftentimes we'll do some reaction content to where we... Um, Check out some new video game trailers, movie trailers, show trailers, anime trailers, whatever it ends up being. And then, um, can we be just a little bit quieter? Thank you. Um, I understand, but it's just like I'm just trying to explain things that every time I started, like talking came from the other side of the room. Um, anywho. So we, we do these reactions. I read like a half scripted intro off the top of my head. Um, and then we check out the trailer together. And then after it starts to wrap up, then I'll do a half scripted outro off the top of my head. Um, and then we get to make faces. Um, for the thumbnail. Um, we do these live on stream because it's more fun to do them together as a community. It gives it more than just me talking to emptiness for the sake of like what my feelings are. Um, sometimes people have watched them before and so they'll give some additional information that just gives it a little bit more depth. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to um, be doing two reactions today and that is to a video game called i saw black clouds as well as the trailer for space jam 2 although i don't think it's actually called space jam 2 i've not actually watched the trailer for that yet all i know is the controversy about it so let's go ahead and get started because i'm hungry 
so that we're going to do these. I'm going to go do some push-ups and then um and then we'll go eat some food. Um, so, let's get ready. All right. Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwan and welcome to the channel. We have some more reaction content for you. And today we are going to be checking out the trailer for I Saw Black Clouds. Now somebody dropped this into our reaction links channel on Discord. And when I saw it, I thought it was going to be like a television show or a movie, but it's no, it's actually a full motion video video game, uh, an FMV video game. And I, I th these show up so rarely because they're, they're almost like along the lines of like visual novels and pick your own adventure type stuff. And I've not actually seen a video game that was a FMV style game that wasn't like just like a really heavily scripted story where you make decisions on it. And given that I see right here that it's being described as the interactive film, I don't think I'm, we're getting anything different here. But it doesn't mean that this is a bad space. Um, it's, a, it's a unique space that I feel actually has a place within video games and it's a storytelling medium and the the interactive side of it gives it something very unique um, in, in, in a different way because of the amount of direction that you have when you're creating these types of experiences. But let's see what the, the, the hook is, the driving force is, what this might have in store for us. So without further ado, let's begin. Do we have audio? What has scared you recently? I saw a ghost. Do you believe in ghosts? A friend recently passed away, and we felt that it might have something to do with what happened to your daughter. Look, I don't see why I need to talk about this. Yes. I was at the clinic when your friend was there. But purely in an advisory capacity, I uh, couldn't comment on her treatment. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, I think somebody killed her. I just need to know the truth. There are some answers you should not be looking for. I want to make them pay for the way they've made me feel. I want to hurt them for what they've done. She said in her note, don't follow me where I'm going. Yeah, what right, Athena? Like this? Looks intense as shit. Christina. Mm. Mm. All right, well, so this already came out. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I, I do have an, like, so my initial thoughts were correct on it, although I am really curious right now. What happens if you run out of time? Like, what does it just go with whichever option you have highlighted? Or does it... Like, I don't know. I'm curious. Yes? Oh, okay. I was just curious, like, how it ends up working. It goes with highlighted. Well, I, I was also thinking, because, like, there are also, like, some games that if you don't choose an option, the not choosing an option ends up being, like, a third option. It normally ends up being, like, uh, you have to start over option in some form, but this looks interesting. Um, I've not played many of these. Well, of course, they don't make many of these, so that could definitely be part of it. I wonder how long it is. Let's see if we can find out. Hang on. Let's see if we can find out. It's only been out two weeks, but that doesn't mean that people haven't already started um, one and a half hours. That's pretty short. 
I didn't expect it to be super long anyway, but it does mean it does mean that it's a it's a quick play. Uh, so the other question then is now, how much is it since it's already out? Right, it's thirteen dollars. That ain't too shabby. Hmm. Oh, this. Do you have... Ah, they make the games that are these ways. They also made The Complex, which is another FMV game, and Five Dates, which is another FMV game. Most are made by Wales Interactive. Interesting! Interesting. The Complex looks like, like, just on the idea of what the title alone is, makes me wonder, like, makes me initially interested in it. Um, Because, like, well, I mean... It's probably twisted and fucked up, too. Not as interested in Five Dates. Gloop is playing Five Dates. Yeah, the, the, the complex I, I could be interested in. Like, we could just make a day of these, man. <laughs> we could just, like, I bet they're all short. <laughs> hang, hang on. The complex. Yeah, it's about two hours as well. Five Dates. It's a bit longer. Of course, okay. I understand why this one's longer because I I bet there's a bunch of different possibilities for the the different dates essentially. Neato. I I am very interested, and in, I saw black clouds in the complex though. <laughs> they might be traumatizing, um, but that is one of the things that's kind of nice about these experiences though is that they are short. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pop pop cat got popcorn. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I'm interested in this. I'd be willing to. I'd be willing to give this a go. Give this a playthrough. Th there is one thing about this, though, for the most part, anyway. Also, I wonder how 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 much takesies backsies you get. <laughs> I wonder if you even get takesies backsies. Um, there, the, or how much variation there actually is when it comes to the possibilities. Because I mean, obviously, if you deviate things too much, um, it's a lot more work. In terms of if option A and option B are drastically different um, and lead down drastically different paths, it's a lot more work when you're creating a an experience like this. So it does make me wonder how much your choices actually matter. Um, but oftentimes in experiences like this, like and I, and I don't even necessarily just mean like FMV choose your own adventure games. The like one of the reasons that it's really hard for me to replay certain games. Um, like Mass Effect or Pyre or something like that is because I would make the same decisions over again. Now that said, I do want to play through the remake of Mass Effect, remaster, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, whatever, because they're doing a lot of gameplay improvements and changes and updates and stuff, and that gives me interest in them. But I also know that when I go back and play through them, I will play that game the exact same choices that I made the first time. Uh, or let chat help you decide, but chat sometimes wants to be mean! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people play uh what is that fable? <laughs> yes, murder the blue chick. No! You leave Liara alone. Anyway. So I, I bet this is a one and done experience for me when it comes to I saw black clouds and the complex. Maybe not though. Maybe not though. All right, but you, you watching right now, what did you think about I saw black clouds? Are you interested in the interactive film or does just the concept alone put you off um is the idea of a FMV video game in general interest or um push you away? Uh what are your thoughts on it? Please leave your thoughts down in the comments below. As I mentioned in the opening of the video, we also accept these suggestions from our community. There's a channel dedicated to it in our Discord server. It's also where you can Keep up the conversation with me or others. You're also welcome to hit us up on Twitter. And we do do these reactions live on stream. That's why we have the chat here. We stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Primarily, the reactions happen on Tuesdays and Thursdays, though. So um, come catch up with us if you want. They, they do happen after our regular stuff. We play a bunch of video games, hang out, have fun, and you're more than welcome there. So that said, links to everything that I just talked about down in the description below. Appreciate if you check any of those things out. If you do, go check any of them out. Watch one of the other YouTube videos. Or if I see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy. All right, we need a face.
<laughs> Uncle Spike, I got faces. I got lots of faces. Look at them all. All right. All right. It's time to get uh, hit with DMCA, demonetized, uh, all of those things all at once. Copyright claim. Because I guarantee you 100% there is copyrighted music in this. I'm going to do it anyway. Instantly, says Vandishar. All right. Here we go. Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwan, and welcome to the channel. We have some more reaction content for you. Presuming that this video actually made it and I didn't get slammed by copyright, but we'll find out. I guarantee you there's copyright music in this. Anyway, we're going to be checking out the official trailer for Space Jam 2 or Space Jam A New Legacy. This trailer came out a while ago, and I'm just now getting to it. I've not actually seen anything really about this movie. I know that LeBron James is the new the new basketball player and I know that they desexified Lola Bunny and the internet lost its shit. And that's about all I know. I've seen like one screenshot which was Lola Bunny and everyone go going, "Where the fuck are the boobs at?" And I was like, "Guys, Jesus Christ, calm down." <sighs> yeah. Anyway, Anyway, let's actually see what if this movie looks any good or not. <laughs> Beyond um, the the changes, the changes that have been made that have slayed our childhood and nostalgia and turned most of us into furries. God damn it! Between Space Jam and Treasure Planet. Anyway, shut up now. I'm gonna play the trailer. <laughs> Basketball camp is next weekend. You got amazing potential on the court, and I can help you get there. It's not what I want, Dad. Hold up. Okay, like... <sighs> Can I just take a moment to express just how ridiculous the concept of a machine that takes basketballs off a rack and punches them into the court is? Like, the... the okay. The idea of, like, a batting machine that, like, throws baseballs for you to swing at, cool. That's one thing. You're, like, that, you're doing, that. it serves a purpose. You're, this is just, you're, you're just rich and lazy. Anyway. It's not what I want, Dad. You never let me do what I want to do. You never let me just do me. You do you. Hold up. Wrong floor. <laughs> Saves time. Will Smith, I gotta deal with this. How often does that thing spin out balls? Down. What in the Matrix hell? Welcome to the space. The space. Welcome to the space. Welcome, King James. I am the king of this domain. Yes. What's up, Don Cheadle? Serververse. The only way you're getting your son back is if you and I play a little basketball. Pete, send this clown to the rejects. Wait. This is even weirder. You right? What is this? I'm a cartoon. Me. What's up, Doc? I need to assemble an elite team to help give my son back. I know what you're looking for. A dream team. Man, I don't like it being a cartoon either. Let's try that again, shall we? King James. Welcome to... Hey! Space Jam. There's a lot more people here than just Looney Tunes now. Introducing the Goon Squad. The Goon Squad. Why couldn't you just still call them Monstars? Like seriously. You gotta win this game. Let's end this. Yes, you cry. And get our son back. <laughs> Classic. Welcome to the space game. Mm. I'm going old school on his butt. Whoa. Welcome 
Damn it. Pretty sure that's illegal, Granny. Yeah, I mean, can we talk about how illegal all the plays were in the first um in the first Space Jam? Like the month like the reason that the 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 Toon Squad was losing was because they were getting murdered. <laughs> like everyone at the end of of the game in in Space Jam 1 was in casts and broken and shit. <laughs> So, like, you know, the referee was even like, you know, it's fine. But did they kick the ball? You know, I don't know. They shot the ball, <laughs> like, with, like, guns and stuff. But I don't know if they ever kicked it. <laughs> like, here's the problem, okay? And, like, obviously, like, I was not an adult when Space Jam 1 came out. I don't remember the marketing for it. I just remember watching it and thinking it was a crazy fun and wild ride. This looks campy and not in a good way. It looks like cheap slapsticky. Like who made this? Like who is making this? Space Jam a new legacy. Like, what company is making it? It had a budget of $161 million. <laughs> Where's the production company? It was produced by Ryan Coogler, LeBron James, Maverick Carter, and Duncan Henderson. Based on Looney Tunes by Warner Brothers. Production companies. Warner Animation Group, Proximity Media, Spring Hill Entertainment. Distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures. Okay. I, I would have I guessed that it was WB, but I wanted to be sure. Like, there's so many things that are, like, close Calling Looney Tunes cheap and slapstick really is a step down for them. <laughs> well, you see, there was still like... <sighs> there was still comedic timing that was put in place when it came to the slapstick comedy that is the Looney Tunes. Like, it had a, a design that made it funny. Whereas, and, and I'll show you the scene that made me go, fuck, this is gonna suck. It is this right here of he jumps through the air. He's going to go do the thing and wait. There's an invisible wall. And then we get the of him sliding off of it. And then like both like good and bad like CG green screen happening right here. Like I was like, I don't know, maybe this this could maybe work. And then as soon as I saw that this was the type of jokes that they were going to go for, I'm like, nope, it's probably going to be crap. If they do too much of this, it's going to suck. I would not pay to go see this. That's quintessential Looney Tunes, though. Yes, you are correct. But... It wasn't the Looney Tunes that was doing it. Like, I don't remember very much of Michael Jordan being a Looney Tune. Like, that was the thing that made Space Jam work. Was that Michael Jordan still followed actual rules. The only time that Michael Jordan, like, became a Looney Tune was when he believed and was able to stretch his arm for that final dunk. Otherwise, Michael Jordan was was the straight face, the straight man, like almost had no jokes to his name in the entire movie. Like, whereas, like, he wasn't affected by the, the tune world. Whereas this looks like 
they just want to blend LeBron James as if he was part of the Toon world the entire time, which is why I don't think that it'll work very well. Because instead of being the the differing factor, it's just a really uncomfortable blend between the two. Might be the spin they're going for. I don't think it's going to work, though, is the problem. That is what made Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah. He's a kid of heart and trying to do tunes things. That's sweet and all. Again, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Unfortunately. Anyway. Anyway. To you watching right now, what did you think? Are you still interested? Is this still... Are, are you... um? Good thing you aren't a producer of the movie, then you write. But I am the consumer and the direct person that they are targeting with their marketing. I am the target demographic, I think, maybe. Me or children. Probably me and children. But I'm the vocal one. <laughs> it is still up to my demographic to take my children to see this movie. <laughs> you just get to pay for it. You're right. But they want me to pay for it. So, in a way, they still got to sell it to me. So, you know. Anyway. What do you think, though? You watching right now? Do you feel that your childhood has been trampled upon, has been ruined, has been tarnished by the greed of corporate capitalism? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway. Well, leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Trailers like these are provided by our community. Uh, there's a channel dedicated to them in our Discord server. It's also a good place if you want to keep up the conversation. Or you can catch up with me on Twitter as well. Um, we do these reactions live on stream. That's why we have the chat here. We have this in-depth conversation about what we're watching together. Uh, if you want to be part of it, we stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The reactions have to, uh, happen after our regularly scheduled content on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You're more than welcome to join us. There's links to everything that I just talked about down in the description below. If you do go check out any of those things, if you go watch one of the other YouTube videos, or if I see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy. Peace out. All right. Give me a face. Mm. Really? Don't you have a Space Jam hat? I do. I do. I do have a Space Jam hat. All right. So let me close this. Let me close this. Let me open this. Not wearing it. Yeah, I'm not right. I'm not wearing it. You're right. I'm a failure. I'm going to start the battle. I'm going to give us all a bunch of haste. I'm going to go do some push ups. We're going to win New Wave, Hover Boo, Kaldras, Vandashar. Bait, baiterge, baiter, bear, 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 whoa, bear, 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 <laughs> He's broken. <laughs> he stalled. <laughs> this dream is <laughs> D Snow, El Canadian, Uncle Spike, and Dr. Swole. We gotta go do push ups. <laughs>
and some hydrate. What's in the box? We have 50 gold and one paladin. Either of which can be yours for 420 channel points. Redeem them now. If you want them, they can be yours. Otherwise, we will just hit random. And we shall hit random in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Manishar with the gold, Keldross with the paladin. Back to the map. Starting with the three star silver chest next time. And then we'll be going into desecrated ground, getting a skin chest, and heading towards that super boss. Super, super boss. One hour, two hour, three hour, three and a half. Wait. One hour, two hour, three hour. Cool. So. Excuse me. Close that down. We will be streaming again tomorrow. We will be streaming in about 24 and a half hours is when we'll be going live if you need a, a more precise time. We'll be streaming alongside the wonderful Athena Latina. We'll be playing some JRPGs for Power Couple, and we are playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. It's an incredible, super amazing, happy, fun time right now. Incredible game. Um, you can also go check out Athena's channel, Athena Streams, on Wednesdays and Saturdays primarily. Wednesdays is Wind Down Wednesday, where we hang out, chill, have some beverages, um, play a story game like Life is Strange, or sometimes Athena will sing us some beautiful songs. Saturday is Community Day, where I will be on the stream as well, although I won't be visible. Um, and we play uh, spoopy, spoopy games. I think we're playing a new game this Saturday. I think. Can't remember what it's called, though. Pacify. Thanks. Um, normally we'll play like Phasmophobia and Dead by Daylight. But I believe we're going to be trying out Pacify. So, yeah, come and hang out with Athena if you, it's a good time. Um, this stream goes live on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Tuesdays is a free-for-all day. Instance Tuesdays, where we play some sort of round-based style game like Dead by Daylight or Escape from Tarkov. Thursdays today is Two Dead Dudes, where we play through Soulsian games. Just started up Code Vein today and spent an hour and a half in the character creator. Don't mind me! <laughs> And then Fridays is uh, Athena with Athena Latina doing Power Couple playing JRPGs. I'm also going to attempt my first uh, regularly scheduled extra stream, as weird as that sounds, this coming Sunday. Um, it's going to be a early in the morning, though. It'll be from like 9 to noon on Sunday morning. Um, it's going to be super chill. We're going to be in just chatting. I'm going to be working on creative stuff because um, I need to... I need, I need, I need to focus on some create other creative things, and it'll be easier for me to do if I have the commitment of a schedule to do it if I'm doing it on stream. It'll also help me keep focused on working if I am uh, doing it on stream. As weird as that sounds, but it, it will actually work. <sighs> At least it should, anyway. So yeah, Sunday morning, 9 a.m. my time, 9 a.m. Alaska Standard Time. That's GMT minus 9. Yeah. All right, we're going to get out of here, everybody. I hope to see you all tomorrow for Power Couple. And uh, otherwise, they're also my... <laughs> God damn it. I might also have a bonus stream on Saturday to do a little bit more Stream Raider CVC. I don't know for certain, though, because I stay real busy. But I might. But I might. I don't know what time. <laughs> but I might. Oh, God. There's never enough time. There's never enough time, everybody. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to go eat some food. You all have a good night. Stay safe. Stay warm. Go check out the YouTube channel. Come join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. I appreciate all of you. Thank you and enjoy. Peace out. Ranchero steak. Yeah, food. Have a good night, Uncle Spike. Have a night, Van Shar. Have a good night, Eve. Good night, Zach. I'm just looking here. Thank you for the resub for eight months.